sure that you sign in if you haven't, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, when you're ready and when you're right onto the pool, all you have to do is click the View Round Robin tab, and it'll tell you exactly who your matchup is and what court number. So, round one, uh, pool one, maybe, I'm not sure, but round one, we have pool 12, we have John and Adam against Michael and Todd. That's on court 12. Head on over there, you guys. Get the game started, and we can get started uh, soon. And on court 11, right over here to my left, we have Don and Ian against Sarah and Tracy. On court 11, court 11, Don and Ian against Sarah and Tracy. Court 10, we have Tyler and Zach against Claude and Ian. And on court 9, we have Cynthia and Alex against Audrey and Buster. And on pool one, on pool one, we have Sergi and Caleb against Boston and Noah. Court seven, Lampton, Corey, against Kirby and Miguel. Court two, we have Preston and Ryan. And on court eight, we have TJ and Corey against Kirby and Make sure you leave the balls off the court, you guys. Don't take the balls with you. Make sure that you leave the balls off the court. Don't take them with you when you're done or if you're lucky ball. I, I appreciate that, but don't take them with you. Leave it on the court. Thank you, guys.
How's that better? Don't worry about the grass. I'm not worried about the grass. I know, just saying that it can throw your eyes off. Look at this. This is a live feed. Look at this. Still looks a lot better. I really can't. That's better? That's better. That looks like it's No, no, we're about it. Hello, pickleballing world. Welcome to beautiful Medfield, Massachusetts, Kingsbury Club, for the 4-5 plus invitational tournament. This is Jimmy Pickles, along with Julie and Keith Hernandez, the uh, lovely couple who will uh, assist in this commentary, play-by-play. -play. That ball's a little wide. Um, not sure what the score is. Apologize, we got started a little late here. We have Tassiano with a nice serve. Playing with Cam. Can't remember Cameron's last name. Right. They're both in orange. Kind of hard to miss them. And I want to say a gentleman in black on the near side or of the court, just turned around, is uh, Keith, maybe? Oh, a little unlucky there. Looks like he caught the top of the paddle. I actually think I'm speaking to myself right now. My cohorts are not yet set up. Oh, good hustle there. A little unlucky. Sometimes the net giveth and sometimes the net taketh away. All right, tried to catch him off guard with a speed up backhand. Off the bounce. A little too much oomph. Just a bit deep. Not sure what we have for a score here. That return was just a little wide. Ooh. 
Something got very loud very quickly. Yeah. Hello, hello. I think we might need to turn down the volume on that one there. Yeah, that one, this one's a little sensitive. Okay. Test one, two. Test one, two. My wife tells me I'm not sensitive enough. <laughs> there you go. Well, nice dink battle of happening right now. Oh, a little too aggressive. Maybe, maybe went for a little too big a bite on that one. Ball was below the net, tried to speed it up. Hi, Jimmy. Hello, Julie. There you are. <laughs> the dulcet tones. Yes, I had to make sure the technical uh, aspects of our setup were, were ready for me. You did a great job. Who's this guy running around behind me? I don't know. The hired help. Oh. So we have a little bit of a, a, tra a tragic, should I say, tragic situation occurring here at Kingsbury today. What? What? what what's tragic? So, the, you know they have the um, the keg refrigerator. Oh yes. And there's several beers supposed to be available on tap, uh, and apparently every single keg is out. Uh, Even the other room. Both rooms. Have we alerted management? Oh, oh, you know Jimmy Pickles has. <laughs> wait, wait, can we stop the stream or at least stop commentating to go figure out when they're going to solve this problem? I left it in the capable hands of the 15-year-old kid at the front desk. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to sense the urgency. Well, I, I did tell him to call over to the uh, restaurant, the Ice House restaurant, which yes. is a nice facility here at, at Kingsbury, um, where they have full... A full uh, yeah, restaurant bar, menu, restaurant, bar, yeah. Um, Golf is, simulator. Yes, all <laughs> kinds of fun stuff. So he did call, although I think he said, do you know when they refill the keg refrigerator, not get the kegs oh. here now. Oh, yeah, no, he did see, again, he didn't understand the years and yes. so he's 15. Right. <laughs> Someday he will. There was a really nice backhand speed up by yeah, Cameron was. for the winner down the middle. So have you talked about uh, any of these um, who's playing on the courts right now? Because we have a special guest in the corner. Back. Well, we do. Oh, I, I, I you know, shame on me. <laughs> so I did mention our the two gentlemen in the orange. I know that's Cameron uh, up front uh, towards the kitchen line and Tassiano in the back. Mm -hmm. And then I believe this gentleman in the black is Keith. He, unless um, I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. And ladies and gentlemen. This is a, a, quite the treat, and thank you for pointing it out, Julie, because I was so focused on the game in front of me that I didn't pay any attention to the game in the back yes. corner. We have D-Dog, the Dawson Stento, uh, playing over there with his partner, Noah. They're in the white, playing against Sergey and uh, Jordan, who actually won the 4-0 plus tournament last month when mm. we, we did mm -hmm. the an, inaugural play-by-play, um, -play -play, yeah. right? Yes. So. Yeah. So D Dog will, will, I'm sure, hop on when he's got breaks. Not because he's losing or anything. Just when he has an just opportunity. To, yeah. Of course. Yeah. No. <laughs> they should uh, do very well. He and Noah. Yeah. Uh, some really, really good competition here today, folks. All kidding aside, these are. I'd say four or five is is definitely probably the lowest duper. Mm -hmm. um, the plus is is in attendance. I will say that. The, most of these guys are, if not 5-0, um, flirting with 5-0. I know there's a couple players here that are close to 6-0. Mm -hmm. um, well, and we have a nice mix. Of, uh, where there is a few, at least one woman. There may be more. Yes, that's yep. It's, so it's a co-ed today. It 100% is. Pro and actually probably one of the best players on the court is yes. a female yes. um, on any of the courts here today. So it should be a really good competition Oh, and Tassiano with a nice put away. Maybe we, if we listen very carefully, maybe we can catch a score. 6-6-1. Six, 6-6-1, six, one. Six, six, one. all right. <laughs> Got a barn burner going. Mm, I, now I'm going to say it's 7-6-1. Mm. Good, good track. tracking on the score. If, if I did my score calculation correctly. Now, this is really exciting. I think uh, this is exactly when we started this channel the kind of play we wanted to be able to feature in the first yeah, place and I yeah. think uh, it's exciting to see 
this level of play in New England, um, and there are obviously a lot of good players, and so this is really important, I think, to just shed light on it. I think there's a lot of people who are interested who will tune in, and even after the fact, to watch this level of play. It's really exciting to have it. Yeah, no, certainly. Um, you know, I think people underestimate the level of play here in uh, the New England area. There's some excellent play, um, not just locally, but a lot of these guys travel, play in tournaments uh, around the country, mm -hmm. um, and do uh, very well. And, so. and that's typically the APP, right? Is that right? Yeah, APP. I think some of them have actually played in, in some of the, I, I want to say maybe even a PPA tournament or two where I've seen some, oh, some nice of the New Englanders. Mm. That was a great drop there yeah. from the baseline. That's not an easy shot to make. Mm -mm. And that ball had some spin on it from what I could see. Yeah, so uh, somebody must be at eight because they're switching. switching Are they playing sides. a 15? Did we talk about I, any of that? I did not get into the uh, to the rules yet. So okay. for this tournament, I believe, and again, I, I ha had to run to the men's room during the uh, announcements on, on what was being, uh, how they were doing it. But I think what I heard was uh, one game to 15, win by one, mm -hmm. switch sides at eight. So mm. it looks like I, if that's the case, I'm going to say that it's eight, seven with the, um, the non-orange shirted team is in the lead, if I'm guessing correctly. I think you're right. We'll listen for a score here in a minute. Uh, you may, may or may not know this, but Tassiano, the gentleman here closest to us in the orange shirt, the taller of the two, mm -hmm. is a world-renowned, I think it's beach paddle player. Oh, wow. Um, something along those lines. Probably got it wrong. But, uh, yeah, he's um, got fantastic hands. I've personally experienced you getting, played against getting him. beaten <laughs> by those hands. Um, yeah, actually, I've played, uh, uh, I think, pretty much against all these guys at some point over the years. That's why my duper is so low. Keeps going down every time I join these. these you, haven't, you haven't learned your lesson? No, I, le I am a glutton for punishment. I enjoy, you know, playing up ep against better players and just, you know, competing is fun. Well, they say it's a way to learn, right? Yeah, that's right. It and, humbles you. And sometimes you learn and sometimes you don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you may also learn the biggest lesson is maybe not to keep playing too high above your level. <laughs> Ouch. That's all I'm going to say, Julie. Ouch. I kid, I kid. No, it's, I agree. It's, it's not good. me. It's usually my partner. Right. Always. Always. That lets me down. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. Fastest hands. One of the top five reasons in it's, pickleball. Yeah. Yeah. The other oh. guy. All right. Wait. So we have uh, D-Dog and his team coming off the... Oh, no. They're switching sides. Switching I sides. They, I think they got to the halfway point. Right. I think it's actually a very competitive game over there. I've watched some of the play. Oh, a little bit of anger coming out here. It's so shocking. Kim very seldom shows any anger on the court, so it's surprising. I think we have a timeout, first timeout. Uh, I believe each side has two timeouts during uh, the match. So I and I think the way they split this up was uh, possibly two brackets? I think, I, I think two pools. Two yeah. pools. Yes. Um, so the, and everybody will play everyone once, and then they will uh, take the top four out of those two different pools. Yeah, and we're uh, they're using a new system. Is it? I think it's called Swish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, which I had not heard of before. Yeah, it's an app um, rather than a pickleball uh, brackets or mm -hmm. um, with. I, I think it's might be free of charge uh yeah i think so um, yeah and and you know but I, you all it sort of ma self-manage a little bit you have to use it to be able to check yes yeah where you're, you're playing who you're playing against the, the onus is definitely on the player mm -hmm. not the term it's tournament director yes. yeah so you know and considering that the tournament director is actually playing today yeah um that's probably partly why they do it um but it, it works out a little confusing at first because you have to be on there uh, to be able to see your, your games. Yeah. And you have to enter your scores there rather than the old-fashioned right. pencil, Pen and, and yeah, and pencil and paper. Pencil and paper. Oh, I'm sure that fell out of his hand. Twice. It happened. Yes. 
Well, it's high stakes today. This is a money game. Well, right. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? Is yeah. that was it a thousand dollars on $1, the line? Thousand dollars for the winning team, and it's I nice think pot. two hundred for second place, and uh, third place gets a pat on the back. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yes, thank you for playing. Thank you for donating your eighty-five dollars. So, um, so there will be some very spirited competition, I'm sure, because of the fact that there is money on the game. Well, and, I, and I'm curious, you know, you've played a lot of tournaments. How, how common is it to have a, uh, a, um, a prize bag this high? Um, these, th so I will say that Kingsbury probably started the money tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, so when they do the four or five plus, they don't, they don't typically do it at the lower levels. But, uh, yeah, four or five plus invitational, um, everyone has to be or at least one player on your team has to be a four or five dupa rating mm -hmm. or higher. Um, and they started doing the money games a while ago. I actually have won money. I won $50 in a uh, tournament. Yeah, Are I you sure that wasn't a refund? I, no, I didn't know it was a, a money game. We won $100, but I had to split it. Oh, nice, Even though, though I did most of the work. Right, of course. I had to give half yeah. to my partner. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so I was surprised. I, I actually think I lost my amateur status at that point because oh. I took money. Oh. Um, so, so now it's pro. You have to claim it on your taxes yeah. and all of that. So I'm hoping that, you know, the Olympics will overlook that. <laughs> right. You know, although I think they well, allow Well, you, you donated it, I thought. To my bank account, yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, Which, I, I it earns compound interest. Uh, I well, hope. I probably bought a paddle, quite frankly. Yes. Or not, you know. Right. You so can't you reinvested it back into your. Into the uh, into yes, your, my into the sport and your and your uh, investment in pickleball. So we got let's see. All right. Uh, so a good deep serve. Good third shot. See. So. Some very nice thinking here for you, you uh, amateurs. Get a handle on the score. Let me see. Right, yeah, I can't, can't really hear the score. 14 something. Oh, okay. So that we are at game point potentially. And, and there it is. There it is. Yeah, they wow. Could. Yeah, 15 by one. Yeah. If you listen to your own podcast, you would have known that. <laughs> we, we've already talked about that, Keith. So. Right, I'm not on mic, so I can't defend myself. That's fine. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, All right. Game, well. game one is over. One by two. Keith, I think. Keith, and I don't know the other guy's name. Let's see. He might be a Ben. He looks like the kid I played against. That was Ben. But I don't, I don't remember. So let's focus on the far court then. With Noah. Uh, who just hit the ball is a Connecticut person. So from the uh, oh, playing with alongside our very own beloved D Dog, who uh, is getting ready to serve <laughs> the ball, and Sergey looking very dapper with the matching shoes I love to it. his shorts. I love it. I, I am a oh, that looked like it was in. I, I really, I really like the um, in this sport that people are taking to doing not just the fashion from tennis but really sort of putting their own spin on it so i love seeing the yellow shorts and yellow sneakers i i, I love it i think it looks great and my high school colors were blue and gold so oh, well, there you go. i feel like i'm rooting for so my, are you saying yeah are my you high school team. no i'm not rooting for them because they're playing against d-dog <laughs> but i do like his his uh his attire two thumbs up from jimmy pickles so we have an empty court here in front of us, but we are watching. Oh, looks like a timeout, far side. Uh, we, we have a score runner to try to figure out what the score is on d Dog game. If he's a runner, <laughs> maybe we can get him to run over to the ice house. And check in on the beer. Or, or, uh, or even Which maybe buy one. 13-11, I believe d Dog, d -Dog is okay. in the lead. All right. Just okay. Go D Dog. Noah being a little backhand dinks. Yeah, some nice patience oh. here. Oh. Maybe a little bit uh, a little anxious there, I think, you know. There was a nice rhythm going there. They were moving each other around pretty good with the dink shots and not well, that, that's always a thing, isn't it? Just figuring out the right timing for when you want to speed up 
Yeah, it's not I, an easy I, thing to. Not opposed to the poach. I, I like the poach. He just he looked like he caught the top, top of his paddle. Um, but all in all, not a Ooh. terrible decision. Very nice get right. there. This is called defense at its best. Get down. Oh, oh, looks like a little deep. A little deep. So, yeah, exciting. We have to get a game and then the half of another game. So I will say I did do a training session with Noah, not Noah, Jordan. There is no Noah over there. Well, there is a Noah. Um, against uh, Sergey and uh, Jordan mm -hmm. uh, a couple weekends ago. So I got to see their game and their strategy. And uh, very interesting. Good players. Yeah, I've seen them play before um, in a couple of other different tournaments over the last year. All right. 13-11. Is that 13-11 possibly? Ooh. Went for the down the alley drive. And sometimes when you take that drive down the alley, you hit a wall. <laughs> oh, good resets there. Very nice. Yeah. There's nothing attackable. Nope. That. There he is. Good job. Sped that ball up. Yeah. Um, check out the QR uh, codes right there. Uh, the QR code the same stuff. Hopefully, get on this. Are you playing? Yeah. I'll take it. And that's cool. And that other code will be seen. Yeah. Nice drive. Oh, up to a little low. Trying to come in. Didn't set his feet. Uh, Noah's very tall over there. It looks like he would cover quite a bit of court. Really nice return. You know, there you go again, folks. For you, you uh, 3035 trying to move up. Try to get those returns deep. It's not so much putting a lot of pace on the ball, it's just getting the ball back deep. Makes for a very difficult third shot for that serving team. Yeah. Oh, that was unfortunate. I'm not commentating because I'm really watching the game. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, it's actually a really good match, and I think I you're, know. you know, I right. I mean, part of part of showcasing some of this play is is for for folks that are interested in getting up and obviously wanting to play in tournaments like this in the future. Um, this is some, you know, some good pickleball today. Hopefully oh, and that we'll was see. it. Wow. Oh, that's over. That's oh. a that's a bummer way to end. Two, two or three ball dink shots off the, the tape and one that just didn't come up. So way to go, D-Dog and Noah. Congratulations, win number one. All right, looks like the first round of matches are starting to, to wind down. So maybe we'll get another, another match here on uh, the championship court, court number two. Sponsored by us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The D Dog and New England Pickleball England, Live yeah, Channel. Yep, yeah, there you go. Paid a lot of money for that sponsorship. So we got a little bit of time in between, possibly. So, uh, yeah. Well, maybe we can get, if D Dog is, well, maybe want to get him on the mic, but don't want to disrupt his no, flow. No, no, he, yeah, he's, he's in the flow. We'll, we'll, let him, uh, we'll let him bask in the glory of his victory and see how things go for him in the next match. We'll have plenty of time to get him on the mic. Yeah. Although, honestly, I hope that he doesn't have to come on the mic, because that means that he's gone a very long way in the tournament. <laughs> so we have, we have a lot of interested, interested people see what we're doing. So they have no idea what it means when there's a mic and people wearing headphones. Yes. They're just curious, like, what are you guys doing here? Um, so we are oceanographers. <laughs> st 
studying. No, the... we're actually no. I thought we were geologists because we geologists. recently there was an earthquake in the in the oh, northeast. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah, so, so we are uh, talking about um, why it happened and. Right. Um, Yes, there was. Um, there it wasn't. Was it wasn't the sound of the pickleball that caused it. No, no, it was a three, three point five, right? Four, four Over on four, the Richter 4. scale. 8 wow. or something, yeah. Yeah, so we're here just to monitor, make sure if it happens yeah. again to alert the public. Right, and we can live, <laughs> live <laughs> commentate as we're shaking. Yes. So. This is the filler portion of our commentary. No, no, there is no such thing. The so actually, I, I was embarrassed to say anything, but honestly, what happened yesterday afternoon is I was at the gym, mm. and so I like you know I finished my weight and I just kind of dropped it on the ground. And that's what I think that's it. what caused yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's plausible. Yeah, I I, I lift me some mad weights. <laughs> well, so I'm from New York, so we had a lot of friends and family who did feel it. Um, and, you know, thankfully everybody's okay. But it was quite a surprise. I mean, they haven't had one since 2000, I think 2011 was the last one that people felt wow. anyway. So, um, I, but I understood you could feel it as far as Connecticut. So I don't know if, if folks in Massachusetts felt anything, but um, I didn't hear any reports of that. But huh. I did not realize it was that widespread. Yeah, yeah. The, the earth is cracking, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's constantly shifting on the tectonic plates, Julie. <laughs> yes. Now we're really going to make it a geology-focused <laughs> <laughs> commentary. Yeah. No, this is exciting. Hopefully, we'll get a match on these. Some matches on here. Some yeah. folks warming, or we have one person trying to warm up. So hopefully, uh, well, it looks like there's an ongoing match here behind us. Oh. That might be the lout, and it looks I'm like just it just finished. ended. So I think now we'll be uh, getting our next our next match coming on to championship court. So how did you come up with such a creative name for your channel? New England Pickle, <laughs> like that's, where did that come from? Um, <laughs> so it had to do with where we are oh. and what we were going to focus on. Um, you know, it's one of those things, it's like, you know, when people say they come up with ideas in the shower, like we, we travel a lot between Massachusetts and Vermont and other places, but so we're in the car often and we just started spitball, spitballing about this concept, knowing that there's some people, you know, you, you, know, you guys have live streamed stuff before, and then we talked about the commentary part, and then we just said, well, let's let's come up with a name that it's not specific to who we are, but more about what we're trying to feature. And ideally, you know, we'd like to be able to showcase um, new, truly New England by going around the different states in New England and showcasing, you know, high-level play. You know, we'll see yeah. as things progress. But yeah, so it's supposed to be meant to be inclusive of the area. There you go. Yeah, learn thank, something Thank you today. for that explanation. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there yeah, there's some good tournaments in New Hampshire. Um, right. Maine holds some good tournaments. Uh, I think Rhode Island's starting to host some more tournaments. So yeah, pretty much um, Connecticut. They have quite a few that they do. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's nice to see that and to get out there. Now when we basically. Um, and I say we, I mean Dawson, decided mm -hmm. he wanted to name the channel after himself. Um, <laughs> a little different. Yeah, you know, so a little, kind of sort of the same approach, but right. different. Right. Um, and actually, if you start, if you go to YouTube and you start typing in D, D, O, G, mm -hmm. even underscore, and then even with pickleball, you get a dog. Really? Up until you put that second L, I think, on the pickleball. And um, then it goes to our then channel. Then it comes, oh, I see. So, so we're in competition, so... Um, with with the dog. Does he? Do, are you at least in the description? Um, I think so. And and actually, should we talk about that? I mean, where where exactly did you, where did your nickname come from? So so actually, I have to say, Dawson came up with the nickname. Said you can't, you know, we got to come up with a nickname for you. And I said, okay, but you know, and like any good nickname, right? You can't make up your own. No. You know, uh, you know, Diamond Jimmy <laughs> something. Yeah. You know, <laughs> no, he said uh, Jimmy Pickles. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? That's fine. Yeah. I think it was the first one he threw out. All right. There you go. And, and I'm, you know, Sometimes it doesn't need to be that hard. No. So, and I, you know, I took to it. I kind of, I, to me, it felt like a, um, a mafia name. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Pickles. I mean, like yeah. Sopranos. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, you got a problem with that? Jimmy Pickles will take care of it. So. I got Jimmy Pickles on it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So. so I got a guy. I got a guy. <laughs> I'm I know in, a guy. I'm in waste management. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, so Jimmy Pickles, there I am. So, right. And I told him, you know, prior to doing any of this, I I had nothing. I had no social media, you know, other than maybe LinkedIn because of work. Yeah. I had to have it. Mm -hmm. um, so I told him, I said, Dawson, I'm happy to do this with you, but just keep in mind, I know nothing about any of this stuff, technology or posting. Well, or, he does, so that's fine, right? Yeah. So, right. so, so that's I said, I'll, I'll just be the uh, the eye candy. And um, he was fine with that. So. You'll be the draw, and yeah. he'll take care of the technical I'm just the talent. You know. Right, the talent. Right. You just show right. up where you needed. Right. And uh, you just tell me where to be and when, and then I just come and talk. All right, so maybe we can talk a little bit about what we're seeing on the far court and some of the players there, because I'm really excited to see one person in particular play. I, I've heard a lot about her, and I have not seen her play live. So this I, is I think Alan a is a man. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Cynthia. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, no, Cynthia is a uh, McPherson. Um, her brother, uh, Mike, is a professional actor. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, so, I've met him before. Uh, actually, I think I've played against him at um, another club. He's not as good as his sister. Sorry, Mike. Um, well, he's good at acting. He's, he's got, he's got he's quite a, better a few actor. gigs. Yes, he's actually a fantastic actor. Um, if you've ever watched... Uh, or what was it called? Lioness, I think it was, on uh, mm -mm. Prime TV. It was, mm. it was Zoe Saldano. Oh, um, okay. So he was in that, Nicole yeah. Nicole Kidman. Oh. Yeah, he played a, a physician, like a surgeon. Nice. And I, I, I actually have asked him for um, medical oh, help that's, that's before it because he's so good. <laughs> right. I, I you was, he was believable. Yes, he, was, he yeah. was so believable. I actually thought he was a doctor. Every, every doctor who plays a doctor, or every person who plays a doctor on TV is uh, Very believable. Very believable. But, yeah, no, Cynthia is a, a fantastic player. Actually, I was watching, perusing the, t the uh, pickleball channels um, to watch one of the APP tournaments a few, uh, maybe a month or two ago. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, who was on center court? Oh. With her, like her name and her little bio and the picture, awesome. it was Cynthia. That's she was awesome. playing a qualifier, uh, which she won, mm -hmm. at least that that match, mm -hmm. um, and she played fantastic. That's great. And, uh, yeah, she's as hopefully we'll get to see here in a minute. Um, she's probably you know one of the best players out here today. Um, and she plays singles and doubles. Is that right? Yes, I, and I want to say she was a. Collegial, collegial, collegiate tennis player. Okay. Um, BC, maybe, back in the day. Okay. Um, so she's brought those skills over to the pickleball world. And Not uncommon. Like we'll get that game started. And her playing partner is Alan from Connecticut. Um, kind of reminds me of Ralph Macchio a little bit. Is it the, because of the headband? The headband, yeah. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, he's got the height, too. Yep, so. Are we going to see a crane kick? He, he, he will get in the crane position, but then he hits the, the ball okay. with the paddle. Because if he kicked it, it would be illegal. But um, <laughs> it, it, what it does is it just throws the competition off. Yes. Oh, nice. But to see very smooth nice players. Nice double. Yeah, just Backhand. Um, technically excellent players. They, they, they understand the game. They know to, you know, to reset mm -hmm. rather than attack a ball that isn't really an attackable shot. Um, great placement, as you saw right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that they will be very. That's going to be a tough team to beat, Alan and Cynthia. And I apologize to the other guys. I don't know who they are, <clears throat> um, but I'm sure they're good players too. Well, if they're here, they sh they better be. Great hands. Oh, and speak, speaking of Cynthia's brother, there he is now. <laughs> Hello, Michael Toe. How are you? Well, there you go. The acclaimed actor. Uh, I actually saw a clip of, uh, I don't have this channel that he was on. I think it might have been on uh, Apple TV, but where he, he plays a, uh, a gangster. Oh, and wow. Did an excellent job. Uh, so we'll switch to this game now. Looks like getting started. Yeah, we'll hopefully get the pop the names up on the screen in a minute. Yeah, so I, I unfortunately I only know Mike on that court. Um, 
Oh wait, and Van, right? Van and Mike and Todd is his partner. Yeah, and the gentleman in the light blue shirt is Van. Isn't it Jackie Long? Is that? No, that's not. No. no that's um, Don. Yeah. Don. Van. What? No, I think the other Vans are playing together. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and I feel bad because I've known him for for years, and he, he's a super nice guy. We'll get it right. Make assumptions and it's really bad. <laughs> no, that's part of our charm, is that we don't know the people's names. Yeah. We make yeah, them up. The thing, really, that's what I'm saying. We need, like, wow, really nice play going yeah. on in that far court. I got it. Nope, a little deep on that serve. I think sometimes that's the nerves, right? You get out there, you're a little tight, you're in a, a money game. Well, I wouldn't know. Um, I haven't played for money before like you have, but oh, um, well, it's I very suspect it must be, yes. Well, I don't know if it's more of the money or the fact that you have to split it. Well, that's a problem you worry about at the end. <laughs> when, you're, when you're in the, the moment, you're just trying to. And, but maybe, maybe the split should be on who won the more points. Oh, that's a great idea. I never right? thought of that. You know, I mean, I don't know how you keep track of all that, but yeah, ideally. Well, it depends on how bad you want that money. Right. Or do you do a, uh, you walk in with a negotiation of a 60-40 or 7-30? Yes. Typically, like, I t I'm, I'm going to hit 80% of the shots, so I <laughs> typically will say, I'm 80, you're 20. Right. Right off the bat. Yeah. I didn't catch that score. I don't know if you guys heard that or no, not. No, not yet. Oh, wow. Nice recovery. That's how quickly you can go from being on the defensive to the offensive here in a pickleball match. 3-1-1. One, one. Okay, filled the middle nicely there. Followed up his own shot. Oh, it's two, almost two o'clock. Do we have a timeout? I think we have a timeout. So we'll focus back on the far court. Cynthia with a nice reset. Oh, and a good backhanded flick shot. Oh, someone just screamed. I hope no one's hurt. Might have been out of frustration rather than pain. I didn't hear another paddle drop anywhere, so. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a scream this time. Somewhat of a primal scream. So what I like about watching this play, um, you know, there's a lot of stacking going on, which doesn't happen in the 3.5 or anything below four, frankly, often, very often. Um, and you see, obviously, a lot of strategy on switching sides, as we just saw. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, there's guys that um, maybe have a bigger forehand um, or someone who maybe doesn't have a very strong backhand mm -hmm. uh, for the cross-court dinks. So stacking is a great way to, to emphasize the strengths of each player. Um, I do play the right side. That's um, your preference? I, yeah, I enjoy playing the right side and setting up, you know, mm -hmm. like the, uh, the, my partner for the put away. But don't be mistaken, Julie. Really. If it's if somebody needs to put it away, Jim, <laughs> Jimmy Pickles can do that too. Oh, oh I wasn't I wasn't going to be mistaken. I thought that a, was a given. Nice get. Ooh. Nice serve. A little bit of that cut slice and those, uh, even though sometimes just a little bit of pace off of that serve and Someone will get, hit the ball a little, little harder than they want to. So you mix it up. You hit a hard serve, a softer serve. Keep your opponent guessing. Let's see if we can catch a score. One seven one. One seven on the one. Oh, good nice. reflexes. Oh, good finish there. Yeah, sometimes that ball off the net 
even though you know it hangs in the air a little bit it just throws your timing off and mm -hmm. it makes it very difficult sometimes to stay on it so that was a really good really good reflexes there just out and I think we have a three seven on the one good tracking Ooh, just out oh looks controversial uh, I'm not sure what the call is. They called yeah, it out. Yeah, they called okay. it out. 3 7 on the 2. They can always go watch it back later. It's too late at that point. Some nice thinking. Oh. Um, sped it up. A little too quickly, maybe a little impatient there. Let that point develop a little more. The middle might have been open. Just a little too much oomph. Mm, wow. Nice get. Save. Oh, oh, um. oh just why. It's an interesting point. Mm -hmm. All right, so it looks like we're changing sides at eight to three. Yeah, I believe it still. If I if I was adding correctly, addition is not my strength, Julie. I was a uh, an English major. A mm, little bit of dialogue about whether or not the ball hit the paddle or a foot. Oh, I didn't notice that. Mm. So far court, Cynthia and Alan. I don't think they've switched sides yet. So that that might that game must not be even to the eight eight point mark yet. Oh, thank you. What did you say? I can't see. Sorry. Someone okay, someone's right. trying to be it's helpful. Right. It doesn't have to be that. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was getting it from somewhere else. Okay, I got it. So we had a, a name correction. Oh, a little deep on that return. Appreciate that we've got people yeah. here that are actually paying attention. Who are watching the live stream and are watching the match live as well. So oh, thank you for that correction. It is Don. Yeah, I knew that was Don. Because it made me doubt. Oh. A little miscommunication on that far court between Alan and Cynthia. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, oh, oh, you had it twice. Yeah, that's all. Simple typo. So, another reason to stack, Julie, is if you have a left handed player on your team. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Make sure you have both strong, <clears throat> strong arms or strong sides. Yeah, so I often play middle. with uh, my husband, Keith, who is a lefty, and uh, we are starting to stack. I think the challenge for us is just remembering that as you're playing, because there's so many other things going on. And yes. so I think perhaps um, it's easy to get distracted and not only forget the score, but <laughs> where you last served where. I was going to say, yeah, just even remembering the score sometimes is difficult, let alone who's where. And, yes. Um, well, and you, you know, you talk about it earlier, when you're just doing rec play and you're not drilling it and you're not practicing it for that purpose, it, it's, it's, you know, it takes some time to stick. So, yeah, no, but we're, we're working on it and we're trying to, not that we're playing in any tournaments anytime soon, but it's just something for us to challenge ourselves. You'll get there. Nice shot. I have no doubt. There was a good put away. <clears throat> and even like just sometimes having that left-handed player confuses the other side too because you're so yeah. used to hitting to the backhand. And oftentimes people don't see it right off the bat. So they're um, surprised even like as we take a pause and they're saying, oh, I didn't realize you were lefty or there's a certain shot that they take. Well, I've played three or four games against someone before I realized they were left-handed. <laughs> like, why do they keep hitting that? That's right to their backhand. Hello, Hello. Kathy, hey. how are you? Hey, Kathy. Surprise <laughs> guests coming through. You so want to jump on? We have a little time out here. So it looks like 
this is a rarity, folks. We have a timeout on both courts. Oh. So they outsmarted us. We thought we would be able to call one game at least while the other was on. All right, I'm going to listen in for a score. Is that 14-3? On the other? Oh, on this, this side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, lot of unforced errors. I'm <clears throat> seeing a lot of return serves deep and um, – not, not as crisp as I've seen uh, Mike play before and his partner. Uh, on the other side, Don and his partner are playing very well. Um, and that's part of it. It's mm -hmm. not always that you're not playing well. It's just that sometimes you just run into guys who are playing that, that yeah. well. <laughs> yep. That's the way it goes. Ooh. There you go. Good put away. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're streaming it in another yes. room. That's yes. right. Oh, look at like we're like celebrities. Yeah, no, yeah. not really. For, for, for those of you who are confused right now, the uh, this is actually being broadcast live throughout all the television sets here at Kingsbury Club. So we had a, a member stop by and say, "Why am I hearing your I would voice say it was in my a head? fan. A fan. I would say a fan. 100%. And they took a photo of us, so yes. I don't know where that photo is going, but well, I just I'll have to get that <laughs> camera and uh, confiscate. Yes, you know. Now it is quite great to when you go uh, into the ice house and, uh, and uh, into the paddle area. There's uh, monitors up and they're live streaming this. Yeah, when we did this a month or so ago, uh, we stopped for some lunch and we were able to watch the live stream on the TV in the bar. Another bad return. Right. That's wow. Over. So there we go. So Don and Ian won that match. Don and Ian with the victory. They look pretty good right there. Mm -hmm. Seeing some uncharacteristic errors over there between Alan and Cynthia, like some, some shots in the middle that they're not quite sure who's going to take. and um, not, not something I'm used to seeing from them. They, they play together quite often. They practice together. Um, but it looks like they are playing uh, against a very good team. Except for that shot. Right, let's see if I can get a score on that one. No, couldn't hear it. No, too soft. It's a great drop right there. Oh, good put away. <laughs> Cynthia hits the ball as hard or harder than just about anybody else out here. So I believe we if, have a time if, out. if everyone has checked in, Cynthia is the only, only female, female in okay. this 4.5 plus double today. Yeah. I believe there'll be more tomorrow in the mixed 4.5 plus doubles. Uh, we'll be airing that as well tomorrow at, uh, at 1 p.m. I, I would hope there would be more women in a mixed tournament. <laughs> you know, Keith and I had this debate recently about mixed and co-ed and the definitions, and I, I don't, I'm not really sure that there's much of a difference. Well, so a mixed, I think you have to be mixed. And well, a co-ed, you can be, what, you can have you two women, any, two right. men, uh, well, uh, you know, a man and a woman. It does, so. so people who identify as male or female. Sure. Okay. So, but, but, but the definition, you mean in the sporting context, is... Yeah. So co-ed means it's just... Mixed of... Right. Whatever, <laughs> not, well, not mixed. I wouldn't say mixed. I would say it's... Anyone. It's open to any and everyone. Mm -hmm. Mixed is, by definition, you have to be have two... Of the same sex on a team? Nope. Mixed, you have to have opposite. So right, have, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. That would be doubles. Duh. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, some really good defense right here, because those are not easy drives to get... Uh, overhand slams to get back. That's another... Great point for you, uh, you folks trying to move up into the to different skill levels. Is um, you know, pick a ball. The ball doesn't. It's not like tennis where it's going to bounce over the net. Uh, I'm sorry, over the gate. When you hit hit a uh, overhead slam like that, the ball will be playable. So you know, you're never really out of a point. Make sure you get back. You're in position, and you know, just reset. You don't have to hit the best shot coming back off of a slam, but as we get it over, you're still alive. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a nice shot. Mm -hmm. Caught him off guard. Mm 
Oh, maybe we'll get a score now. I no. maybe heard 10 8 1. Did that sound right? I don't know. Hard to hear from here. Yeah. I mean, oh, what a dig. Oh. As, as good as my ears are, it could be like, you know, 12 to 2 for all I know. But I thought I heard 10 8. I wish I was a, a lip reader, but I'm not. Oh, did you set him up? Mm hmm. Oh, he had the shot. Set himself up nicely. Oh, I took him out. Oh. I think we're doing it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy, man. <laughs> I, we had, I think he maybe called the score wrong, so I asked him to serve again. Okay. Very far away. That can be distracting, believe it or not, having wow. somebody call the wrong score. Ooh, nice wow, very nice hands there. I, I want to say it was 881, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they switched at 8 a while ago. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm not sure. 1011? Is that what I heard? Oh, oh wow, what a what get. A get. Oh. What a get. Oh. oh. If he got that one, I was going to say you win regardless. Yeah. Wow. It must be nice to be young and fast. The athleticism. I wish I could say when I was young I was that fast, but I never was. Well. Oh. oh just out. Mm. Boy, they played. That was a tough point because they definitely were in a position to put that one away. Mm -hmm. so overswung a little bit. There's a pro one time or somewhere I heard where they basically they said if they ever swing harder than that 75% of their full swing, they're mad at themselves. Oh, so you should never swing as hard as you can because that's where errors come in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this game is really about placement over power. Don't get me wrong, power can certainly help, but yeah. if you place the ball really well, you'll be in a better spot. Well, and I think when you're, you know, you're starting out, you, you tend to want to, you're overthinking those placements, and that's where you're making a lot of mistakes as well. I think it comes more with time and experience with the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you're trying to force, it's like a pitcher trying to force the pitch. You know, like mm -hmm. so, so hard. Yes, I know what that's like. Ultimately, <clears throat> trying to spot it. You know, like <laughs> where they're they're so hard, trying to get it into that one spot rather than just throwing. So that can happen. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, oh, I was gonna say nice reset there, but came up a little bit short. We might need to measure that net, make sure it's regulation. I can't even, okay, I can't even, I can't even hear it at all. So, I, yeah, I think it's a 12 that. something there, I just heard. All right. It's, a, this is a, it's been a really good match. The hands on both sides are just yeah, Incredible backhand yeah. defenses. Very strong. I think it's 13 10 too. 13 10. <clears throat> oh, ooh. I'm not sure if that was in or out. I think it touched him. Wow, ah, okay. Uh, no, I guess it didn't. Turned over. Yeah, I say it looked like it was long. But then again, I can't see when it's right in front of me, let alone 30 feet away. All right, we have a new match coming up on uh, Championship Court. Mike. They must have known that um, Mike is a movie star because they put up, this is his second time now on Championship Court. That's correct. 
Like that sound, right? Yep. And then... So they will be playing Sam, Kim, and Colton. I don't remember Colton's last name, but... Uh, well, we're going to look it up. Very, yeah. very uh, good. Here. That's a very strong team. So here are names. I know, but I can't... Colton, I know it's Colton. Uh, yeah, definitely Colton and Sam Kim. Yeah. And I'm not Colton sure. Kellogg. Colton Kellogg. Yeah. And uh, Mike, and I, I still don't know, what, what's Mike Toe's partner here? I'll tell you in a second, uh, Todd Giles, I believe. Todd, okay. So Todd is playing the Ruby. I like the Ruby quite a bit. Colton is playing the Gearbox, the power elongated gearbox. Big fan of that paddle as well. We had a carbon for Sam and Mike playing the engage. So a lot of very good, popular good paddle paddles. spotting. Yeah. So I'm assuming you and D Dog have viewed some of these paddles? Uh, or maybe all use them? of them except for the. Uh, we haven't done the carbon review. I have played with the carbon um, and the engage, but we've done a. The Ruby, as well as the gearbox. So, as part of your review process, are you testing these paddles yourselves before you review them? Is that uh, your uh, well, of course. We have to be able to give our opinion on how they play and <laughs> whether they came with good shots or not. Right. Sometimes a paddle doesn't have any good shots in it. Right, Cesar? <laughs> so, this is a. Uh, oh, I should say. Uh, that might, oh, no, I thought that might have ended the match on the far court, but it uh, did not. So, let's see if we can catch a hey, score. Jimmy, have you noticed, do they switch at any point? I think it's 14-10. Uh, they switch at 8. eight. They're switching at 8? Yeah. And right. it's 15 by 1. 15 by 1, switch at 8? That's that's what okay. I what I understand. All right. Oh, and there it is. That was it. That was uh, a great match yeah, over there. it was. <laughs> Very tightly contested. Uh, Cynthia. Cynthia and Allen took that match. We had Cesar, and I can't remember Cesar's last name, but Cesar was here scouting, keeping an eye on the competition. Smart thing to do in between games if your game ends early and you're in a tournament. And you want to be able to see what your competition is looking like. You can uh, take advantage of finishing early and go and watching some other teams play. So I think it's time to check on the um, keg situation as well as food. I did not see anybody come out and, mm. and do anything to the kegs unless, because I, if I understand correctly, the, that refrigerator underneath is where the kegs go. And I did not see anybody wheeling any kegs in. We could send your husband over to uh, the ice house. To yeah, I just uh, I just messaged Freddy. That's what I call him. You call Keith so, I don't, Freddy. Yeah, well, so it's a silly reference, but um, when our kids were younger, we would watch iCarly occasionally, and Freddy is the technical kid who put on iCarly's program with her, and he would occasionally be on camera, but often behind the scenes, setting everything up. Had a big crush on Carly, if yeah. I remember. <laughs> My yeah. daughter's a big fan, yeah. Yeah. or was when yeah. she was Yeah, exactly. Old. And so we would watch it, and, and when I would podcast or he'd podcast, we would joke around when he'd set everything up that he was Freddy. That's a, it's very, uh, very spot on. Yes, very apropos. Yes, oh, good word. That, that's a $10 word. <laughs> Don't ask me to spell it. Uh, yeah. So we can, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna take a break shortly, but we'll get, uh, we'll get your food order in. Oh, I, I don't need food. <laughs> I, I'm looking for a, a, an adult beverage. Yes, yeah, so we can get that too. So we'll have a, looks like Sam and Colton will be playing Sergey and oh, on the far court Jordan. Now. Although, Sergey can't make up his mind. I think he wants to play that game from this court, even though he's supposed to be on the other court. Oh, I see what he did. He stole a ball. Stole the better ball. Yep. 
And uh, that's a good, good segue into the ball that they're using today. It's not the Franklin X, which is typically what they tend to play with here at Kingsbury Club. Um, this is the uh, Onyx Dura is the ball. It's a little, I'd say a little poppier um, <coughs> of a ball. So the, uh, <coughs> the uh, sorry, I was temporarily distracted placing my beer order. Um, I personally like, if they have them, Guinness. <laughs> and I'm not opposed to a Michelob Ultra when I tr when I have a beer or so. What about you, Julie? What's your beverage of choice? I'm a wine drinker. Ah. Um, I will have beer, but I typically, I don't know, my... You know, Freddie likes IPAs, and so I think by force of being married to him, I've had a lot of IPAs in my life, and so I've now become a fan. There's a really good IPA uh, made here in Massachusetts called Cloud Candy. Yes, it, it should be on tap over yes, here, but I know it's, it's not. Missing. Yes, because there's it's nothing delicious. on tap. Right I say now. thank goodness it's not on tap because this would be an interesting stream. More. <laughs> there and there was Freddie's. Uh, yeah, there, there, yes. <laughs> See what I mean? Not always on camera, but there behind the scenes, and, and waiting. That, that lady, and, ladies and gentlemen, is why he's behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Teasing. All right. Teasing. Oh, hold on. Um, Are, when, folks. Yeah. So when they come on, you just hit the. the okay, but this is off now. No, it's on now. It's no, it is. On. Oh, there it is. This should be an interesting awesome. matchup okay. here. We have uh, oh, hey. D Dog, oh, Dawson Stento. Did he plan and, this? And Noah <laughs> uh, playing against. <laughs> he seems to be showing up on these courts. This is great. No, this is going to be a good match. Yeah, and that's. Uh, oh, boy. Van? Van, right? Oh, yeah, we need and I don't to. know who Van is playing with it. So we'll see, but this should be a good, good match right here. Four highly skilled players. We're underway. And oh, with the ATP. Both vans. Both vans. Yeah. Van I'm, van. I'm gonna get them on there in a minute. The vans hit like a truck. Boom boom. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh. So let's see if we can catch a score here early on. One one one. Good ears, Julie. I'm multitasking too. There's a nice third shot drop. Noah's a very smooth player. I'm watching him. And hitting in the middle is always a good good idea. Far court, we have Sam, Kim, Colton, K. 
Kellogg, maybe? Uh, yes, Colton Kellogg. Ke yep. Colton Kellogg. Um, not the cereal making family. No. But uh, a nice, nice guy against Sergey and record. Jordan. A little wide. I think we have a 2 1. 2 1 1 or 2 1 2? One, two. Okay. I was close. I had a 50 50 shot again at right. Oh. Not sure what happened there. Had a really nice third shot drop, and, and if the ball didn't come up, there are some dead spots here. Do uh, so we know what ball they're using? The ball, yes. Is that a question that came in? Um, yeah, do you know yeah, the answer to I that? do. It's the Dura, uh, the Onyx Dura ball. It's uh, definitely poppier than the, a little more bounce. To me, a little more rubbery than mm. the uh, Franklin ball. They, do, they tend to get out of shape really fast, like way yeah. out of shape. Is there a reason why they're used in tournaments? Uh, I think they're d more durable. They don't crack as easy. The Franklin balls tend to crack. Yeah. Um, so, and I, like I mentioned a little earlier, I believe this is the first tournament that they Spe are. Speaking of balls. The balls are flying <laughs> everywhere, Julie. That one almost hit me in the head. Um, they're not targeting us. No, they're a really nice drop. See right there, just it's not not always about hitting a drive on that third shot, but getting that nice ball dropping right over the net. Oh, good block by Van. Oh, nice reset by Van, and then Van had a little bit of a miss hit. I like commentating for these guys because it's van and van. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all right. It's hard. He's kind of falling back. Not the best position to be in. That sometimes can be di dictated by your opponent hitting a really nice deep return. Oh, that one. I think he would like to have that one back. Mm. Sorry, I'm putting in my food order. Apologies for the silence. No, it's fine. I love listening to myself. Uh, oh. Yeah. And D-Dog's uh, leaving some of these up a little bit. Hopefully he gets those down. Two very smooth players. Tennis backgrounds. I've lost track of the score, and I'm not sure I can hear. Four, four, three? Is that what I heard? All right, it's a good return. So, Van will be serving. <laughs> and Van is really, his game has come a long way, very nicely. Mm -hmm. Played with him and, uh, and Don, who's playing as well, but not, not with Van. Um, years ago over at the uh, Lakeville Athletic Club and uh, their game is just really rounded out very nicely, the two of them. I don't know if they had the falling out because they were used to partner. Very nice shot by D-Dog. Catching that ball off the volley, backhand to Van's backhand. That's the beer list. Ooh. Important message. Oh. Michelob Ultra would be great. Okay. For you people under 21, do not drink. It's a nice drive. A uh, little, uh, yeah, it's the first interruption we've had from a ball coming across the court today. Which is usually a common, not too common. They have nice fencing here, but it happens more than you would think. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> there it goes again. Two in a row. 
It's a conspiracy. What else can you call? <laughs> I am like Nostradamus of the pickleball courts. I really I like Noah's uh, soft game. is mm. very impressive. Oh. oh. Nice hands over there. Yeah, Van hits the ball really hard. I, t I will tell you too, he has, a, he has one of the the most aggressive forehands and he hits with so much topspin that the ball really dips. Mm. Um, and sinks. Yeah, it uh, can be really difficult to pick up on. So we don't hit a nice deep return. He has a tendency to, to uh, attack that ball and it's if you, if you do get a paddle on it, you're typically not hitting it very um, <clears throat> very effectively. Oh, looks like we're having a ball change. Oh, wow. So we had a Dura ball break. So much for that durability. Uh, yeah, well, you know, false advertising, Julie. We don't work for them. No, we do not. And if, even if we did, we'd have to be honest because that's our, wow. Man, man with the put away, that must be eight. I think we're, uh, we just hit the eight point mark, so we're gonna switch sides, maybe take a quick break. And uh, look like a, I'll switch over to the far court. Zero, ten, one, Is that I think what I, I heard. <laughs> um, honestly, that's a little bit of a mis mismatch, I mean, uh, Todd and Sergey are very good players, but both Sam and Colton are well over 5-0 players. Yeah, I think I was looking up on their uh, dupers before, and I think Colton is it's almost close a 6-0. Six, six. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Sam's in the I think mid High fives. fives yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, and uh, Sergey and Jordan are probably that 4-5, right at the 4-5 level. A good example right there of uh, Van, the ability to put that ball away as this game here started again in front of us. Wow, nice aggressive play. And Van, Van very quick to the ball. He'll follow up that hard shot. I believe it's 10 5 this side. Here on this yeah. side, yeah. Yeah. We'll see if you get a score right now. Yeah, 10 5 2. And, uh, I'm going to say now it's 11 5 2. There, um, resets another nice part about being tall is you can really catch that ball out of the air mm -hmm. okay. D-Dog a little out of sorts right now and they're going to take a timeout. I was going to ask you to comment on the uh, paddles so the paddles sure yeah you know I, I tend to right now I flip flop between the the six zero ruby, which mm -hmm. is the one that Van is playing with, <laughs> and and actually uh, Noah, I believe. and uh, yes, Noah has yeah. this the six zero ruby, um, and then the Gearbox um, Pro. I uh, I have the control version, um, but they have a power version, which which I I played with initially, but to me was. Um, a fantastic paddle, but I really had to dial in the uh, resets and dinks because the it's so powerful. It was just very difficult to um, mm -hmm. keep the ball down. Is that a Vatic that Van is using? I believe that he does use the Vatic. Yes, that's yeah. the Vatic Prism. Those are great paddles, by the way, for relatively cheap money. <clears throat> I think they're only about a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what's the, um, the oh, Ruby run? 
Uh, rubies are, I think they retail at 180, but with a <clears throat> discount, you can get it for about 160. Mm. Um, really nice paddle. That, mm. That's a Kevlar, a full Kevlar face. Really? It's the only paddle in the market. Yeah. So. Uh, and what's the advantage of that? Well, if any, if it, somebody shoots a gun at you. <laughs> right, uh, which happens often on the pickleball court. It's course. bulletproof. Um, wow. No, I, I think it's durability. Um, for me, six zero. They also make the double black diamond, which is uh, just a carbon face thermoform paddle. Excellent mm. paddle, great feel. Um, but really, where I felt it was lacking was in the put away power. Mm. And with the Kevlar face, it just uh, it just feels like you have that when you need it. So mm. you get you get the best of both worlds. Nice. And Dawson's playing. I had playing no with idea the, that they were. Uh, yeah, Dawson's them that playing way. with the Volare Mach 2, I believe, the Forza, um, which is a very fast paddle. I believe Mach speed is uh, 1,500 miles an hour or something like that. So. <clears throat> Impressive. Very nice dink battle going on. Mm. Oh, I, I jinxed him. Shouldn't have said anything. So, and they're also coming out with, so Pickleball Apes has a, a Kevlar carbon fiber weave mm -hmm. paddle, which is a really nice feel paddle. Um, Mark Pickleball does the same thing. Um, and I think Apollo Pickleball is now coming out with some Kevlar weave. Um, they're actually, it's sold out currently. I'd love to get my hands on one, but mm -hmm. they, they have the uh, Spartus, Spartus Pickleball. Yeah, they have the, the Apollo it's a wide body paddle, which is a kind of, I don't want to say old school. Oh, um, tried for oh, an ATP. Oh, there it is, yeah. ATP into the pole. That's a, an ITP <laughs> as opposed to an ATP. <laughs> so or an, or we don't a, want to hit it in the pole. We want to hit it around the pole. Yeah. Or post, if you prefer to use that terminology. Um, so, yeah, the paddles are all there. Really, all these carbon fiber face to paddles are fantastic feel. Um, it really just comes down to what, what shape you like. Do you want a longer handle? Mm -hmm. um, do you like elongated face? Do you like a wider uh, face? So the, the wide bodies are typically eight inches across, mm -hmm. whereas um, some of the elongated are more like seven and a half inches across, a little longer up top. Um, you really, I mean, you're looking at a half inch. So I have a question. How, how do you decide what paddle is best for your type of play? Because it's obviously very, very individual. So even, I mean, this is obviously the paddle question is the number one question I'm sure lots of people have. But but how do you determine if you want an eight or a seven? I mean, I know part of it is you need to play with it. But is there a way that you can begin to match up based on your skills? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I think if you are someone who tends to favor a power game you know and you're really looking for the, like maybe coming from a tennis background and you're looking for those those you know drive third shots instead of the third shot drops you might want a, more of an elongated paddle um, they tend to have um, a little a little heavier top heavy but very uh, you can really put a lot of power a lot of spin on, on with those if you're more of a placement um, more you know defensive resets um, mm -hmm. really enjoy the dinking game and, and um, a, a, you know control uh, controlling the ball then certainly the, the wider or the hybrid shape paddles would be a better fit for mm -hmm. you but it really I've played with all of them um, virtually almost every paddle in the market no not quite um, but I've played with quite a few paddles mm -hmm. um, and it really you know, you just get comfortable with one. Um, right. right. And it does take a little bit of time to settle in. Yeah, yeah. And don't give up on a paddle. You know, I mean, if you if you have a paddle that you just got and you play two or three games and, you know, you don't win every game and you're frustrated, you, it, but you like the way it feels and you just, you know, give it a, give it a chance. Um, some of them, sometimes they need to be broken in. And then you'll have... Um, you know, another thing I would say, too, is if you have a paddle that you really like and you're playing well with, then don't get caught up in the hype every time there's a new paddle coming out, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, that's my problem. Like, I, I always well, get... Well, you also, you and D-Dog review a lot of paddles, so... Yeah, but even before. <laughs> <laughs> even before that. I was like, the paddle? Wow, what? Oh, it's, it's the spinniest on the market? 
I want it. Yeah. Give it to me. Let me try it. Um, All right, I'm going to use this advantage of a pause in the game to take a break. You go right ahead. You've right. earned that break. All right. And I think I will take a break as well. It looks like we have a little lull in the action, folks. We're going to take a three-minute commercial break without any commercials. All right, back online, far court. We have, uh, looks like a really good matchup getting ready to take place. We have Johnny, Kingsbury Club, Pelez, and Adam Smith against Cynthia McPherson and Allen from Connecticut. Clarissa uh, has given me a phone to look at the names of the people on court too. I can't see. Can you make it bigger? Or no. Okay, we have uh, Deep Patel, Tyler Barron, 
Zach. I can't read that. Zach. Zach, somebody. And Zuzu? What does that say? Zoo? Zoo? Zoo. 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 <laughs> All right. So that's the first and only time I'll be saying the names of the people on court number two. Wow. <clears throat> Great play with Johnny keeping that ball alive. Oh, that was uh, behind his back. Uh, actually reminiscent of the James Ignatowicz shot from uh, a couple months ago um, where he literally had his back to the court and just underhand, looking the other way, backhand, crazy shot. Anyway. Uh, and that was on the far court. Cynthia, Adam, ooh. And here we go, court number two. Uh, so like, uh, Deep and Zoo on the far side. Actually serving the ball. Oh, good shot. Split the middle. That was disguised that well. Waited to the last minute and then just a flick of the wrist. Uh, a little unfortunate off the net. We have the dapperly dressed coordinated gentleman here in the purple and black I wonder if they did that on purpose or it just worked out that way but in any case they look good although if you watch my eyewear video you understand that wearing a hat backwards it offers no protection to your eyes but it does look cool and you know, they actually have the same hats Has a good return in the middle. I'm a little short with that third shot drop. Deep with a deep serve. Oh, a little mis miscommunication there. That happens sometimes. You're not sure who's supposed to hit it, and neither one of you do. Oh, unfortunate off the net. That's one of those sorry, not sorry shots. Shout out to our buddy, Chris, who does the Sorry, Not Sorry podcast. And it's a 1-3-1. One, one. Nice drop. Good attack. Wow, great hands over there. So it's one, three, two, second serve. And again, nice reset of a drive. So a lot of, you see a lot of uh, three, five, four row players who try to drive every shot on the third shot. And um, when you play up against higher level, you see some, uh, it's really not an advantage. Certainly a shot you don't you can try shouldn't be your go-to shot on every single third shot, in in my opinion. It's more likely than not that your opponents have great hands and are going to be able to just place that ball wherever they want. Oh, very nice get there. I think I heard 5-1-1. One, one. Oh, he had the shot he was looking for. He poached the middle nicely. Just a little bit of an overswing. All right, 
tried to backhand flip. Got a little too much ball, and it sailed deep. And there's some really, oh, I was getting ready to say some really nice resets. Not sure what uh, Deep was trying to do there. Maybe a lob that didn't quite lob. Just stayed up for the easy put away. Oh, good attack. Followed up that, which was a, a good drop. That he uh, got them to pop up and then was able to put it away. Good, good aggressive play. A little short on that third shot drop. drop shot. He was there, but uh, just not able to keep the ball in play. Really nice hands. Great hands. Those couple of really tough shots to reset and kept the ball back in play able to put himself into a more of an offensive position. Well, there was, I was talking him up too much. Seven two, if I heard that correctly. Really nice drop shots. Oh, we had an ITP. So it looks like we're making the switch at eight to two. Uh, looks like the far court has already made the switch. Let's see if I can catch a score down on the far court. Keith's my hero. Thank you, sir. Old delivery. Jimmy Pickles. Now I for, the, for you, Jimmy. You're the best. That you set a very high standard there. <laughs> oh, very nicely done. See, that's a, a, a great example of why it's so important to stay about 10 feet, no more than 10 feet between you and your partner because you open up that middle and uh, Deep did a really nice job of taking advantage of that on the point before. Not so much on that one. So it's 3-8. I think you're talking about the transition zone, like how important that is. Right. Yeah, uh, no, actually... Just the spacing. Oh, the spacing of your partner? Yeah, making sure that, they, you know, if you pull, if your partner gets pulled off the court, you've got to make sure that yes. you're, you're moving. Your tether. Ten feet apart. Is, is a little the, tether. Yeah, yeah. tether. That's, yeah. yeah, pretend you're, uh, you have a ten-foot rope tying you together. Yep. Ten feet is a little long. It's a small court. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got a little technical there. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, the balls are flying. I got it, I got it. I have no idea where that one went. Oh, there he is. Look at Keith. Not only can he set the equipment up, he can shag balls. Oh, good job filling the middle there. Zoo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Is that whatever your name is, I think it's Zoo. Great shot. Uh, a little deep on that serve. It looks like he's got one of the old school gearbox paddles there. The CX. The, uh, the paddle that came out maybe six months to a year prior to 
uh, the pro paddle line. Which was how many? How long ago though? That paddle you're talking about? Oh, uh, came out about a year and a half ago. You are the aficionado, can I say sure, that of word you can. about paddle things? Yes. Such as such. Yes, I am. I'm the paddle expert. Ah. Uh, so you just you know what you just did, right? You said you're the expert. Is that wrong? Well, you, you, I mean, the law of averages, it's going to come back at you. Mm. You, know so, what, you know what I say, Keith? I say yes. bring it. Ah, wow. See, I'll count, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, all right, he's standing up to how you got it. You, I've watched your paddle reviews, and they're quite entertaining which is you know a thing that needs to be a thing but it's also like i have i have i do have a loaded question i, I do have a question for you here and i'm just going to do it now because we just started <laughs> so i read something i think it was an instagram thing something about paddles in the path they're going and so are they too hot are we on this path of the paddles are gonna gonna make the game a problem with the uh, how they're they're coming out illegal sometimes. I'm mean, like this. I know it's marketing. I know the marketing's going on. I'm just I'm not just being. So they're saying that there was a, a statement that was just said that like it's going to get. Well, so I mean, all right. Go ahead. Yeah, just There's go. a governing you, you body, right? I mean. yeah, so you yeah. have the, the USA Pickleball. They are monitoring. It's their job to make sure, just like in golf, right? Yeah. <laughs> just like anywhere, yeah. So the golf clubs, they obviously went from wood to yeah. all these fancy, you know, tungsten steel and yeah. carbon faced golf clubs. I hear marketing. That's what I hear. Um, well, so, no, I mean, uh, they, but they are. There's certainly technical improvements. Um, sure. So, but but you have to. What they need to do is just temper how far they want to take it, right? Because right. the golf courses, there's most of them. There's not a lot of room to make them bigger. So you know you can make some holes longer. I know they did that at Augusta and a couple other places. Um, but uh, ultimately, you know, you, you don't want the the courses to be obsolete because they're too small. Right, right. And and you're almost there now in professional golf. So same in pickleball, right? So you have you had you went from wooden paddles to composite in a, remember to, a shorter period yeah, of time. Yeah, I mean there was a, aluminum at one point. Um, yeah. you had graphite. Um, yeah. and so you know they've kind of evolved into where the carbon fiber <clears throat> came into play and now you're seeing Kevlar. Um, but really there, I think the the USA pickleball has done a nice job of just keeping it fair, and making sure that it's not. Um, they're on top of it, right? Yeah, I, I so, feel like they get. I feel yeah. like everybody's I mean, so, on top of it. Uh, diadem, uh, diadem had come out with a, an e Evo or Evo foam paddle, mm -hmm. and it was ridiculous um, how <laughs> how hard you could hit, but it was not legal, and yes. it, it was never going to be legal. So. But it, and it was very expensive. They were like three hundred fifty dollars, and I, I sat there going, "Who's going to pay three hundred fifty dollars for a paddle that's not? You can't use it." You know, I mean, so that backfired is what you're saying. That well, whole market. Yeah, I've seen them now. They were selling them the other day for like ninety nine dollars. So nobody wants uh, to hear that their paddles are illegal. Well, who's going to play if I if I know you show up to play against me, and even if it's rec play, yeah, I don't want to play against somebody with an illegal paddle. I mean, there's got to be. Listen, it, it, there's time for fun times, like to have all that fun in a test court. But uh, yeah, I get that. I get. The, it's the competitive part of this is the, there's some areas that needs to be on the level ground, because the paddle does a lot of work. So if the paddle does way too much more work, it's like a mod that. I don't know. I mean, it, I don't think you disagree with that part. I do. I think I've. I mean, I. I personally have played with wooden paddles. Yes. And have played almost as well as with the other paddle. I, oh I, no no I no. Think that's the player. I'm not even talking about that. The player is that size. Oh, there's not nobody. There's no instant, uh, you know, fairy dust with a good paddle. 
That's not what I'm talking about. I know that. So you have to be able to work that paddle. Still, there's still somebody's got to work that amazing paddle. So, yeah. Uh, Let's but see yeah. if we can get a score over here. Right. So it looks like it, the, the tide may have changed a little bit it's, as we've been chatting up paddle technology and competition, um, that this game has gotten a lot tighter. I'll join them for food and then we're coming right back. You want anything? Just text. Yeah. Okay. So let me see if I can catch a score here. Oh, uh, maybe not the right time to be. The ball was a little low. <clears throat> Tried to get a little aggressive with the backhand snap. And actually, I, I think the game on the far court is, is uh, a heck of a game. Uh, or is it over? No, I guess it's over. Uh, didn't see who won. But it looked, I saw some amazing play. Hopefully uh, people were able to see that. Uh, some, some unbelievable gets, some great shots all around. And it looks like this game in front of me just ended. All right, they're all ending at the same time. So we have a little lull in the action, as I believe that round is just about over. Uh, don't see any active play going on around me, so I think we'll be uh, announcing the next matchups and getting some uh, some some games going on these courts. I guess we'll take this time to, uh, for those of you who are brand new to pickleball, explain the rules in case you've been watching this one. What in the name of all that is holy is this game? It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. So um, pickleball is uh, sort of like playing ping pong if you could stand on the table. If you were, if you were shrunken or the table was enlarged, and you were standing on the table. So it's cross court serve. You have two serves per side, except for the start of the game. Um, <clears throat> you can only score on your serve. Uh, the grayed out area, which is very nicely delineated here at Kingsbury Club, is the non-volley zone, or the kitchen as they call it. And you're not allowed to step into the kitchen and hit the ball in the air. So you can go into the kitchen, but you have to wait for the ball to land on the ground first. Uh, you typically play to 11, although today's games are to 15 by one. Um, and uh, and that's about it. So now you know how to play pickleball. No excuse. Get out there. Pick up a paddle and play. It's a great game. You'll uh, see today probably a little more younger crowd today uh, than the tournament that we did a few, uh, few months ago. But uh, this is certainly... Um, certainly a mixed bag. I, there's some, some folks that I know are my age or close to my age, so, um, you know, 27, 28, <laughs> uh, or a little older than that. But uh, overall, um, I'd say the probably average age would be about 30, 30, 35 for the players today. A lot of younger guys out here, so it's good to see. Um, I know when I first started playing, there was a kind of a mis I'd call it a, a misperception that in there that it was an old old person game, and um, certainly there were quite a few older people who play, and there are quite a few older people who continue to play, uh, which is one of the great things about pickleball is that you, as long as you can stand there with a paddle in your hand, you can play. Um, I've seen 85, 90 year olds playing pickleball and doing really well. 
So it looks like we're getting ready to have a another game here. It's TJ Unger. And uh, we have Jordan, Corey, and Tim. Tim of Pickleball Apes fame, and he is playing the Pickleball Apes battle. That's the uh, one we were talking about a little earlier, Julie and I, with the Weave Kevlar Carbon Face paddle. Uh, very nice paddle. I believe Corey's from Maine, the great state of Maine. And this should be a really entertaining match. What's up, big guy? What's up? What's the score on this game? 15 3? Yeah, I'm waiting for them to verify. They don't have their, their phone. Oh, very phone nice up, attack. So oh, so you yeah, saw but okay. I didn't know that. Sorry. Some really good dink battle going on, and then. Uh, What's up, big guy? TJ saw the opening and was able to speed the ball up, caught him in the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause the miss hit. These are four very technically sound players. Might have got away with one there. And TJ, for one, is someone who you can never give up on the point. You might think you have a winner with the ball behind him, and somehow, some way, he gets to pretty much everything. Case in point, he was able to dig that. Didn't quite land in, but see if we can catch a score. Uh, it sounds like 0-2. Oh, make that 1-2. One, 1-2-1. Two. One, two, one. Tim with a nice third shot. And Jordan with a little bit of a pop up there, catching that third shot drop out of the air. Easy put away. Uh, before it was an illegal serve, Corey had one of the most nastiest corkscrew serves, chainsaw serves that I'd ever seen. The ball would take some of the most crazy bounces off the bounce. Um, it was very difficult to get a good return on. Still is able to get a good spin on his serve. Oh, good hands. Good hand, speeding the ball up is really, you know, you see it sometimes in the pros how they just, it seems like forever and ever you're watching them just back and forth, back and forth, and you're like, why aren't they attacking that? And that was a great example right there of why. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. Just able to get a paddle on that and uh, was able to catch the top of the net and really didn't bounce back up at all. Tried to misdirect with the backhand a little deep. I think it's 2-3, two, 2-4, two, 2-4-1. Four. Two, four, There's a nice shot, able to keep it in. Like 2-4-2. Nice resets, good reach. Oh, nice job, everybody. We saw some great resets by Timmer. Some really nice resets by all four players. And uh, put away, that just didn't quite get put away. So we got three, four on the two. And 
Good speed up. Paddle side, up into his shoulder, upper shoulder. Those are very difficult to return. As good a player as TJ is. Oh, very nicely done. So, lesson learned there, folks. If you're gonna poach, don't leave too early. And you'll get the ball right behind you. And I think we might be at three, four, one, if I'm correct. And we'll see if I can catch a score. Three, four. Oh, good speed up. Caught him off guard. Looks like three, four, two. Good backhand flick by Corey. I think we have five, three, one. Try to confirm that. Five, three, one. Tried for the Ernie, a little bit uh, off with the shot. He's got that long body, athletic enough to jump the corner. Actually, that wasn't an Ernie, that would be the, the Burt, right? Where you come across from the other side. So an Ernie is when you are on your side. So if Timmer was on the right side and had uh, jumped the ball, but because he came across from the right to the left, that if it had worked, would have been a burt. Oh, good defense. Very nice resets. Oh, wow, what a great point. Very nice point. Good patience, really nice thinking, good resets. You're seeing some very high level pickleball right now, ladies and gentlemen. point, good defense, good digs. Eventually it was just too much. I think four or five, if I heard that correctly. Try to get a more accurate score here. Yeah, 5-4, five, 5-4 four, five, four on the one. Corey, very nice play there. Aggressive, stayed out in front of it. Those uh, lollipop serves can be very effective too. Really throws people's timing off, especially if you get the ball to bounce up high. And I think we just hit the eight to four mark. Yep. Looks like they're switching sides. We'll take a quick timeout. 
Making the turn at eight for Corey and Timmer. We'll focus a little bit here on the far court. With Sergey and Jordan, Tassiano and Cam. Oh, and these guys are gonna get right back to it. So eight, four, one. Eight, four, two now. Oh, good speed up by TJ. Got him right in the chicken wing. So we have 4 8. Four, eight two. Oh, good hands. Very nice hands. Communication on who was going to take that one. So we're looking at, uh, I believe, 8 4 2 now. Oh, that's tough. Two or three shots off the net. And then the easy put away. Oh, and it looks like they got the taps working. Good news for Jimmy Pickles. Uh, nice pick up there. That was a really nice aggressive backhand by Timur, but uh, better better resets by, I wasn't sure if Jordan or TJ hit that, but. See if I can catch a score. I think it might be 5-8. Five, 5-9. Eight. Five, nine. Five, nine, one. Well, just a little bit deep. So we have a uh, six nine one. We have a uh, special guest, John Wagonseller, who you may know from his appearance during our Natasha Linton interview. Just tried to run through the the glass. Uh, just stopped by, and we have a timeout on the court. So we'll go back over to the far side, see if I can pick up on the action over there. Tassiano serving to Jordan. Oh, Cam with a nice third shot but wasn't able to follow it up. Sometimes that fifth shot, it can be uh, even more difficult than that third. Well, unconventional serve. Aggressive on that swing. Uh, looks like we're getting back to the action here. 7 9 on the two. Oh, and there's the Ernie. Very nicely timed, Corey with the backhanded Ernie. That's not always an easy shot. Time that perfectly. 
believe it's 792. Oh, and there's a winner down the middle. He's timed that really well, waited to the last moment. Able to thread the needle. Yeah, that's just a very tough, aggressive play there. Corey's playing very well right now. It must be all that clean main air. Oh, nice shot by TJ. Caught him leaning towards the middle. And a nice low shot towards the backhand. Not able to get it back. Oh, he just was sitting waiting on that one. It's 10 7. I heard that correctly. Oh, good job by Jordan there. Yeah, able to get the pop up and the put away. I'll get an accurate score now. 7 11 on the one. Uh, Maybe a little bit of frustration there. Oh, 11-11. Is it 11-11? Can't really hear. Could be 7-11 or 11-11. Wow, good play there. Oh, no, 8-11, 8-11. Oh, excellent defense. Great example, folks. You're never out of a point. Just keep getting those balls back. Wait for that chance to reset into the kitchen. And good things can happen. Oh, good shot by Corey. I think we're looking at 11-9-1. Back up, but not good enough. Eleven nine two. Uh, good shot, good finish by Corey, and it's twelve nine two. Coming over at 9-12. I remember games are 215 by one. Good hands. Wow, good hands all around. 9-12 on the two. Some great defense. That last one peeked over the net and decided it didn't want to come back. Sorry, Jimmy. Going down. No problem. Had a ball, <laughs> ball came flying over. We're good. Oh, wow. Good hands. Nice hands all around. Totally missed. 
missed that. Couldn't hear what he said. Oh, I was a little bit low to be that aggressive. I think we might be at game point. And we have a timeout on the court. So focus the attention to the far court where Tassiano is getting ready to serve to Jordan. Oh, not the best of uh, efforts there. Went a little bit deep and wide. Back over, side out. Sergey to serve to Cameron. Oh, nice hands. Sergey able to put that one away after the pop-up. It looks like we're back to live action here on court number two. I think we are at 9.14 here, if I heard that correctly. Oh, and that might be, nope. Uh, oh, here it is, side out. So 14 to nine, I believe. 14-9. Oh, and there it is. 15 to nine, great shot. Caught, caught right behind him, a little misdirect. Caught the back corner of the court, and that'll do it. Very good game, very well played. We'll focus back over to the far court. I have no idea what the score is. Uh, Jordan serving to Cam. Oh, great defense. Wow, good hustle. Uh, oh, wow. I was gonna say, whatever happened on that point, it was entertaining till the end. I guess we have our next match coming up, or maybe these guys are just warming up. Either way, we'll continue to watch the game in, the game in action. See if I can catch a score. No idea. Luciano, nice reset, good hands. And there it is, an Ernie. Cam serving to Jordan. A little low on that shot, caught the top of the net. Sometimes that's worse. I'd rather hit it in the middle of the net. The ones that hit the top of the net, it's just like, ah, so close. Mm -hmm. Good dink battle happening. Oh, moving them around. I think we had an out call. Yes, I think it bottles out. Again, I have no idea what the score is. It's amazing I can see that far. Oh. And a little frustrated. Oh, that was it. That was the match. That was the match. Oh, a little anger, a little frustration. That's okay. Tempers can get a little high. People are excited. There's money on the line. So, uh, yeah, Sergey and Jordan with, um, dare I say, the upset? I don't know. That was, um, that was a great, great match for them. I see my very my my favorite pickleball player of all time, Diego, is here. Oh, 
Hola, Diego. <laughs> Diego was the maybe one year old son of uh, Johnny Perez and his wife, Clarissa. Lovely couple. Uh, both are instructors here, I believe. I know Johnny definitely is. I think Clarissa might be here at Kingsbury Club. That's another, uh, another, another couple of players that I remember from when they first started playing. That was at the North Attleboro YMCA is where I met those two. I'm sure the moment Diego can hold a paddle, he will be playing. All right, so we have a little lull in the action. We're gonna take a quick break and be back here on court two in just a moment.
All right, we're back, and with a uh, special guest, Chris Cornitti. That's a, right. A, a certified instructor here at uh, Kingsbury Club. Um, how long have you been uh, teaching now? I've been coaching here for about a year or so. I've been playing pickleball for quite a long time. I'm a PE teacher. Pickleball's been around for decades, but I'm coaching here at Kingsbury for about a year. Has it been a year already? Yeah, we're creeping up on it. That's wild, huh? Yeah. Wow, time flies. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris is a new dad, three-month-old. Um, mm -hmm. And I have already forgot Isaiah. That's a good memory. That's yeah. pretty good, yeah. Especially awesome. seeing that I'm having a beer. But um, <laughs> Wow. So how do you like the uh, the coaching here? I, I really like it. I, I thought that I would like taking a break from, from the, the kids, um, coming here and coaching adults, but... Um, one of my favorite uh, groups to coach here is the kids, so I surprised myself with that. So that was pretty cool. Enjoying coaching the kids and coaching the adults here. My partner rolled his ankle, and I was asked by see if you can play. Oh, they, uh, Jimmy Pickles might be jumping into this tournament here. Oh, um, baby. I, uh, so, yeah, I don't have the proper attire. My, I don't have my knee braces. I'm wearing Skechers, slip-ons. I'm not sure I would do that guy any favors. <laughs> do we know? Do we know who? Yeah, playing with him. So, so sorry which, about which that. Which team first. are we talking about here? He he was playing with an older gentleman um, who was actually a very good player. That guy there. Um, not that anyone else can see him. Oh yeah. So the. Uh, well, very good. Yeah, I feel bad. I, if I had my gear, I would 100% play with him, but uh, but I don't. So. I, I, you know, I, I would jump in, but uh, I, I've been out of the game for a couple of months now, at least out of the tournaments for a couple of months with the newborn. Um, so you, part of me is hoping to be asked. Uh, the other part of me is not. So I'm we'll gonna, see. I'm gonna go tell him that you're available. <laughs> so uh, you, you guys would play well. I was watching his game early. He's got a very good game. He's a solid player. I don't know what his name is, but. Um, well, we'll let him make the rounds. And yeah, we'll I think I just waved him over, so we're gonna let him know oh, that, that is uh, too funny. he's gonna have a coach. So I, I believe Chris, who is a coach here at Kingsbury, is available to play. We, we have a situation here, ladies and gentlemen, where a team, one of the team members rolled his ankle, and I feel bad for I could see him. He's in pain over there. He's grimacing. So um, his partner is looking for a partner, and I think I just helped him out with uh, Chris Cornetti, who is a, uh, an excellent player. I think they would, um, they would do well together. So, um, so they will... Uh, I think I think I've just lost my interview, but uh, Chris, thank you for stepping in momentarily. And uh, so yeah, thank you, Chris. All right, go get him. Good luck. All right. Goes from spectator to player, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. So good to see. All right, still waiting for the next match here on either court one or two. Would be nice. So we can get a, a feel for. I think we oh, are these guys watching themselves on the on the live stream. Is that what we got going on? Maybe not. So they were waving to the camera uh, and and looking at their phone. So I assume maybe they were on the live stream, but um, apparently not. Let's see. Oh, oh John, I almost had to tell Johnny not to go across the. Uh, our, our, we have a bright orange border here, warning people not to walk in front of us, and uh, look for a, a moment as if he might try to do that. All right. So we have. Johnny Pelez and Adam Smith, where I don't see Adam, but Adam is his partner today uh, against these young guys here with the, uh, the purple and black with the backwards hats. I like these guys. I played, actually I played a fill-in game against them, I think last time just to, uh, to kill the time. Maybe it was post-tournament. Uh, very good players. Hit the ball hard, good placement. 
This should be entertaining. I see Adam has entered the building. He's, uh, we're gonna have to forfeit this game here if he doesn't get moving. Yeah, so, so far, ladies and gentlemen, you've been um, witness to some very, very good pickleball. This is all very high level competition. Some fantastic shots. Great, great way to, to learn the game or to, to maybe even improve the game. Watch some of the shots these guys are trying and some of the shots they're making. Try to incorporate it into your own game. So here we go. Adam is on the court and Johnny Peleas. And the two young guys, I forget their names, uh, good players. And um, apparently I'm gonna be by myself for a little while unless, oh, oh, here comes my, uh, my cousin, Joey Pickles. Hey, Jimmy, how are ya? Joey Pickles here. Oh, and there's a good speed up by Adam Smith. Okay. Oh yeah, I would agree with you there, Joey. Very nice, uh, looked like a backhand flick from Adam Smith. Uh, nice deep return there that came up uh, a little short on that third shot drive. The drive and the drop. What do you do, Jimmy? Well, you know, Joey, I prefer the drop, but um, some people like the drive. I like to mix it up. Mixing it up sounds like a grand idea. Sounds like we have a 0-0, uh, zero, zero, potentially, if I heard that correctly. Very nice backhand flick by Adam Smith. Right at the feet. Uh, another great place to aim, folks, is at your opponent's feet. Hit him in the tootsies, that's what I say, Jimmy. Well, thank you, Joey, for that insight. Oh, nice drop. Oh, good misdirect. Very good hands. Oh, wow. Nicely done, Adam. Tried to catch him off guard with the speed up. He should have said, not today, because that ball was not happening today. Right back at Adam, and Adam was not able to return it. That's correct, Joey. Ooh, and a little aggressive on that uh, attack off of the drop shot. Saw him coming in, thought maybe he could hit it towards him, and uh, Adam was able to duck out of the way. Oh, and another one that came up a little short on that third shot drive. I drove here today, Jimmy, in a car. Well, it's good to know there, uh, Joey. What kind of a car? Uh, it's an automobile. A beautiful automobile. You guys have a name? Uh, it was a Chevy. It was a Chevy or it is a Chevy? Uh, it's a Chevy Camaro. All right, Joey. Thanks for your input, buddy. Here we go. What's the score? 0-1-2. Oh, nice shot. Good hands. Oh, and a little bit of a speed up that caught Johnny off guard. And it looks like we're at a 1-1-2. One, one, Did you know when you add one and one together, it makes two? Uh, yes, actually, Joey, I, I did know that. I, I am not a math expert, but I did okay with arithmetic. Oh, good hands, Adam. Good speed up, wow, nice speed up, but better hands. Here are the uh, young gentlemen on my right, or on the right-hand side of the court. Uh, able to put that ball right back at their feet. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice point. Tried to jump for the Ernie, overran it. His partner backed him up nicely, got back into position, was able to put that away with a backhand flick. One of the best plays I've seen all day. Didn't you just get here? Like I said, one of the best plays I've seen since I got here. Oh, he had what he was looking for. His feet were moving. Hard to hit the ball when your feet are moving. Tried that backhand flip into the, unfortunately went into the net. It was a good return, back corner. Johnny with good hands, not able to reset that second one. First one right back into the kitchen. Oh, and I can get rid of Joey now. Here comes Keith, I think. Potentially, maybe not. I like that guy, Keith. He seems like a decent fellow, except he just fell over. What happened? <laughs> we almost had our first accident here. Not quite sure what happened there to Mr. Keith. I would say maybe alcohol. All right, he's had one beer, ladies and gentlemen, and he's falling over. We have to cut him off. I have to let the Kingsbury folks know. No more beer for Keith. So uh, thank you for joining, Joey. It's time for you to go. Ah, it's too bad. Great to be here, and I'll turn things over to Keith. Have you been alone all this time? No, my cousin Joey was here. Didn't you oh, just see Oh, good. Him? No, I did not. Really good match going on right here. Did you um, have them on mic or? My cousin, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, okay. You didn't hear him? No, I was, uh, so we were listening a little bit. We couldn't listen in the bar. We couldn't really listen. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. So. Were you doing shots in the bar? <laughs> no, no. We were just eating, taking a break. We had a beer. So yeah, it's full disclosure. That's it. There's That's, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. It's a very stressful event. I think it's at 4 4 one. For the players. It's a little hiccuping. I gotta refresh. Oh, unfortunate off the net. Something that, that you hit what would maybe would have been a winner, hits the net, pops up, and then it becomes an easy winner for the other team. Sounds like 4 4 1. Good hands. Damn. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, this is PG. So, really good hands. We get up at this level, and these guys, like every single one of them, have great hands. Good news is they have the taps are, are working now. <laughs> no wonder I haven't heard from you. I have been here the whole time. I yes, think. you have. And <sighs> sorry, Jimmy. We uh, yeah, we got sidetracked. It's okay. Oh no, it's okay. You're, that was very loud, your mic. I don't know. If oh yeah. So high. yeah. All right. So this mic is tend to be a little yeah. Consistent. Or and you, my you, I am loud. Yeah, no, it was like hurting my ears. Okay, all right, um, so let me fix that. Yeah. No, I'm fine alone. I, I've, I'm often alone. Good <laughs> good misdirect <laughs> Somebody, uh, Johnny. Is there a cry for help for Jimmy Pickles over here? No. The, uh, nope. Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah. It's all good. Oh, Wow. Good you can't resets. Make a there. Well, it was a reset. It was, you know, Johnny was able to get a paddle on it, but sometimes, you know, the other guy just hits a better shot. And he's really hitting some some bullets over there, this taller gentleman. will be able to score now. Oh, 
Uh, I don't think he said the score, or I didn't hear it. Oh, that was a nice drop. Uh, Johnny, so just able to get that ball back. You'd think that's past him, and he's just able to get a hand on it. Um, six six. Is that what you heard? Did you hear six six? I did not chance? hear. I did not hear. I you know how I these headphones are. All right. So it might be seven six now. Oh, 12 four. Wow. wow. That was way off. So I will. Uh, so I got to analyze our uh, past broadcast. And remember, we were talking so much about like what we knew what the score go to and when we knew score. Like, so I did it based on the video. I would analyze, you know, and do the score like through, you know. And we were so off. <laughs> yeah. It is so hard to hear. To, to hear just to also in the flow of the game. Like to know when you're supposed to be able to you know, gauge a score in pickleball. Pickleball is, you know, if it was rally scoring, that's great, right? Rally scoring, good. You can do, you can probably see more and just get ascertain of what uh, the score is, but. Oh, a little low for that attack Pickleball shot scoring is tough to do. So let's, uh, I'm going to introduce this thing. 7-12. Oh, wow. Very nice. Uh, the, the just to, dream to get a paddle on that was tough. Oh, oh, and in the far court, we have a brother-sister matchup. Thank you for pointing that out, Julie. Oh, and my brother got a, took advantage of the sister on that one. Cynthia was uh, poaching towards the middle, and Mike just went right behind her. Back over here. Oh, it was out. The ATP was out. Oh, and yeah, I don't think it was 12 because now they're just changing sides. So I think it's eight. It must, yeah. I must like. I, I didn't think it was that far off. Eight six. Okay, that sounds more like it. Eight six two, I think, is what I heard. Oh, oh, that was good. Uh, a little deep. Nine six. Might have been a question. We had a look of. Oh, that's definitely out. That almost hit you, Julie. Good thing. The, good thing the fence was there. Nice scoop. Wow. Oh. All right. Still can't really hear what he's saying. Oh, good hands. Nice hands. Adam with fantastic hands. <laughs> He's just letting us know. He is. Oh, good eye. Good eye. Mm. Looks like the, the tables are turning here. I can't. Let's, let's see. 8 9. I think I heard 8 9 1. Yeah, that, that one's not coming back. 8 9 2. 8-9-2. Oh, nice. Very nice placement Snap, there. Snap. Crackle pop. Nice placement and an excellent finish. All right, so it comes over at 9-8-1. Ooh. A little Ooh. wide. 
side. I, I don't think that's a terrible shot to try. The return was uh, only if to about mid-court. Well, I just did those two little oohs because I was like, ooh, I don't, don't do with those sometimes. So uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's a good ball to great, attack. Yeah, well, the great serves are a great, like, uh, you, it's funny how you get a great return of an amazing serve sometimes. Uh, it wasn't necessarily, that's, it was a short return it was on short, the serve. Yes, <clears throat> but you got it back, is what I'm saying, like. Yeah, no, no, no. I get I surprised. Mean, yeah. Don't you get surprised sometimes? Like, I'm like, that was good. Oh, a little, little too much. Uh, you know, he saw his eyes got big. He saw that ball floating up, but you know, oh, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta let that hit bounce. You saw a shiny thing, a shiny, a shiny ball. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yes, that's like a, uh, you know, like golden coins, like in a video game. You know. Ah. <laughs> I see you. How's everything uh, going? Good. Nice taking here. Good pace. Wow, very nice shot. Yep. Story being told. Waited for that to be uh, just a little bit of high and then put it right in the middle. So, uh, I'm going to have a guest, apparently. Oh, might have gotten gotten away with one we only talk you know i only talk live with people <laughs> how's, right. it how's it going everyone that's peter ma peter how My are you peter good friend now what are you what is your deal peter like are you uh do you play pickleball yeah i'll play pickleball for fun <laughs> just a little bit yeah just a little bit so uh okay have you played in any tournaments uh, Ooh, yes. Here comes a resume part. I'm gonna play in uh, the upcoming uh, lifetime tournament in Burnton. It's coming up in uh, April or May, I think. Okay. And who do you play with? Uh, let's go play with a friend named uh, Tuan. Tuan. All right. And uh, what do you think your chances are? Our chances? Uh, probably like 50-50 right now. I'm hoping to medal with my team. Okay. Peter is a very m m modest player I'm a little bit modest so he's yeah. only modest or he's like modest in his ability like to talking about himself that's a loaded question or he's modest like he's not good I did see that Adam great shot buddy <laughs> well just to get put something in context I'm just like a uh, regular 4.0 player right now regular yeah. a regular yeah I know Wow. We all self we all self rate, so we're uh, that's but your that's your ball, Adam. You gotta get that one, buddy. Say what? Well we're watching um, at the elite so level right now, the elite four point five plus. It was very nice, yeah. That was a that was an Ernie what we just witnessed. So Peter, why why are you here? You're not if you're not here for me. So who are you here to decide to play? Well, well see. You know, I'm here to like uh, visit my buddy Keith, you know. I want to <laughs> check out what he's doing with his broadcast. I want to take a look at these amazing elite 4.5 players action. 4.5 plus. 4.5 plus. Wow, uh, what, what a... Looks like we have a timeout on the court. I'm not sure what the score is. Um, Peter came in, and I was so excited about Peter joining that I lost track of where we were score-wise. Yes, we, we, never, we never had track. <laughs> no, I did. I was pretty good there for a minute. You were trying to, yeah. So once we got past the 12 to 4 that is, Julie said it was, we. Uh, there we is a to, score tracking thing that I'm going to do when we get to oh, the yeah, battle Oh, yeah, you showed rounds. me that last time, yeah. So I'm saving that because it's going to be incredibly stressful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it is still to, to track the score in pickleball? So, you know, uh, watching it on court. So a statistician, so we could do that. Um, I know I, you showed to, you showed me last. Yes, time. I did. All right, we'll, so, we'll see how it well, goes. We're, we're gonna try that, but we're not. You know, for now we're gonna try to like keep an eye on the score. Yes. So. All right. Let's see if I can hear it. I have no idea. Something nine maybe. Fourteen nine, I think. Fourteen nine. All right. Um, can I get the cute? Sorry. Oh, nice shot. Oh wow. Looked like it was good. Let's 
So we have a side out, I think. 914 possibly. <laughs> Oh, good job. Good speed up by Johnny Pelez. Caught him off guard. A little misdirect right up into his, uh, right in his face, pretty much. Oh, good eye. Who's Johnny's partner? That is Adam Smith. Wow, great oh, hands, guess. great hands. Heck of a dig, but uh, just wound up being a pop up. 14.92. Oh, so it's going to be side out. They fended off two game points. Good hands, good resets. Adam able to put that one away with the backhand. I do, from Corey. Peter, we have a question from Corey. Okay, what did Corey want? <laughs> <laughs> so 10, 10, 14, 2. Corey says, uh, do you feel high rated plays spin their paddles faster more frequently? In between points than than lower rated players. All right, here we go. 14, yes and no. 10, 1. He put more spins in the shots. But just think about like the trolling that he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice play right it's there. It's all about the placement of the ball. It's not about the spin sometimes. Okay, and, he's being and serious. Case in point, we just saw a nice placement right at Adam's feet. Caused him to uh, hit the ball into the net. Oh, all right, another, they fended off another match point. Good so question. Coming Corey. over at 10 14 1. Very good question. No. Oh, nice touch, Johnny. See that? That's all placement, no power, just the touch. Very well said. So good, deep return, good hands. He says, not today, <laughs> not today. So here we go, third time around at 14-10. Wow, great mm. shot, great angle. All right, they got one more chance, 14-10-2. The purple and black team proving to be a tough out here. There it is, another, they fended off another game point. So now we come over at 10, 14, one. Oh wow, what a shot. Perfectly uh, placed. 11, 14, one. Make that a 12 14 1. All right, so you should do the score going forward. Don't give me too much credit. No, I no, just heard no, yeah, these guys said it really loud enough to be heard. All right. There's the biggest challenge 12 14 2. Oh. There it is, the third shot drive that just didn't quite pay off. A little low into the net. Back over here. Oh, we have a timeout on the offensive side. 14-12-1. Johnny Peleas will be uh, serving for the win. I'm sure he hopes here when we get back to action. Conferring with his partner, Adam Smith, asking, hey, where do you think we should go for dinner later on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> How many match points did they have? 
It's been, this is, I think, the fourth or the fifth. Okay. So, fifth, fourth or fifth time around. Um, Johnny playing with the, uh, with the double black diamond. I think the 14 millimeter, if I am correct. Adam with the carbon. Tense moments here when you're up. That last point is the hardest point to get. And there, there you go. Oh, there it is. Game Congrats. over. Wow, excellent match. Hard fought. Very nicely done. All right. All right, guys. I'll be back. All right. Yay. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for joining, Peter. All right, Julie, we got rid of the amateurs. We're back online now. <laughs> yes. I had a little food in the belly. Yeah, you're good. You, you missed. Your husband almost killed himself. He tried to sit on the stool and fell over. <laughs> Listen, it's, had to it's catch not him. a tournament if he doesn't <laughs> fall at some point, like he did last time through the fence. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He was trying. I remember he got up bad. there. Yeah. yeah, we don't have the cameras on yeah. him. This was just the simple act of sitting down. Yeah, it can be troublesome sometimes. Yes. It's been a so. long day. It certainly has. So where, do we have any sense of how, where we are? Are we getting into the metal rounds anytime soon? I think we're, so Wait, I think they're looking they were, at right behind you. There were seven different, um, seven different games before we got to the medal. So I think we're close to the medal round. All right. I'm not sure. We have TJ, Unger, no relation <laughs> to Felix. I'm dating myself now. Remember no, the no, odd couple? Of course I do. There was Felix Unger. What was the other guy's name? Oscar Madison? Maybe. Something Not like that. Yeah. So TJ's playing uh, playing well, as always. TJ, do you know where we are roughly in the uh, play? Is it, are you on your seventh game? Or, like, how many games have you played? That was, that was a this gift to commentate. Oh, all right, so then we'll be going to medal round soon. Yeah. All right, all right. Right on. Good luck. Yeah, so we'll see what's we uh, wait waiting for the next round to start. Oh, still okay. And before, so, okay, all right. So I think there's still a few games. He said he's only played four. Okay, so yeah. I think there's three more games in the just the round robin, robin. before it gets to the uh, to the medal match. So um, with that, I'm gonna take a, a a quick TV timeout. Yes, we can do that, <laughs> but I'm gonna find out about where we are. All Doing right.
we're back. We have Van and Van versus TJ and Jordan. Jordan with a nice put away. Let's see if we can catch a score here. Oh, nice hand, nice backhanded shot there by Van. He caught Jordan a little bit by surprise. And I think if you haven't played against Van, Van in the blue, it's uh, sometimes like that shot is very, um, it's, it's a little deceiving. So it's, it's hard to get used to that. It's 0-2, if I heard correctly. Oh, wow, nice angle. And uh, actually hid that very well to the last second. Looked like he might have been going middle and then pulled the trigger down the, uh, down the line. Good put away by TJ. And oh, good hands by Van. Hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, and there's Julie's temporarily. For some yeah. reason, they, they when you shut that one off, they both come off. Sorry, a little technical difficulties here, folks. So good hustle. Wow. Good hustle to get that ball off the net, but you're really just in a tough spot because you're out of position. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just try one thing. I think we're on. Our technical support has taken a break. So we'll just have to... Uh, we'll, we'll assume we're being heard. No, I think we are. Wow, oh, great defense there. Yeah, All right, TJ. It's okay. Wow. Oh, a little deep. Oh, we called it in. All right. Don't go by my eyes. I don't have my glasses on, and I can't see in the best of days. It sounded like a 032. I think uh, yeah. side out. Oh, nice play. Oh, Jordan with some really aggressive backhanded dinks there. See if we can catch up on the score. One three. Sounds like one three. Let's make that two three. Not sure I it sounds like it's working, but I'm not hearing it in my my ear. Yeah, the headphones. Oh, he had the had the easy put away into the net. That ball was just a bit just a bit long. So, very nice reset. Good eye, able to duck the ball there. Oh, 
5-4, I believe I heard 5-4. Definitely heard 5. Oh. Let's get the score now. 5-3, I'm sorry, 5-3-2. Dig by Van. Uh, just <clears throat> being patient and persistent pays off. Nice shot. And we have a timeout on the court. <clears throat> see if we can see how the uh, far court is doing. We have, looks like Cameron and Tassiano versus Colton and Sam. Uh, looks maybe like they're on the timeout as well. Thinking over there on the far court, Colton to Cam's backhand for the winner. Wow. Nice poach by Sam Kim over there. Backhanded winner. And here we are back in action. Court number two. And the timeout paid off with the side out. Maybe two or three, seven, one. Now two or three, seven, two. Yeah, I think he said two, seven, two. Turn just a little bit wide. Five seven. Five seven two. Oh. Maybe a little over ambitious with that two-handed backhand. It was a, an attackable an attackable ball, but uh Some really, really nice resets. Seven five two. And we're going to switch sides at eight five two. TJ and Jordan in the lead. I'm sure we'll take a quick timeout. We'll focus on the far court. Colton, Cassiano, Cameron. Oh, wow, great hands. Looked like it might have been a winner by Cameron that turned into a, uh, a win for Colton. any idea what the score is over there, I would tell you. Unfortunately, I do not. Cam with the serve at that high drop. And side out. Sam Kim with the serve. Luciano with the most hollow sounding paddle ever built. I don't even know what that is. It just makes a thud every time he hits with it. 
maybe a gamma. I'm sorry, a gearbox, an older gearbox. Oh, nice hands. And looks like we're ready to get going here. Eight five on the two, I believe. Nice shot by Van. Puts that one away. Got his appoint opponent to pop it up. And that makes for an easy put away. Oh, I think Van had the shot he was looking for there. Just was not able to complete that. Tried to redirect that out of the air. And just a little bit wide. Back over at 8-5. Oh, good finish. I believe it is now 9-5-1. Great hands. Oh, very nice hands over there by TJ Unger. No relation to Felix. Choosing their speed ups appropriately, catching Van and Van off guard, getting those pop ups or those shots that go out of bounds. And I think we have a timeout on the court at 11 5 1. Going back over to the far court, Tassiano serving to Sam. So they must have hit the eight point mark because they have switched sides since I last saw what was happening there. Can't hear the score. Cam now serving to Colton. Oh, and here we are back on TJ. Oh, and just a little bit deep. Possibly, maybe not. Oh, yep, second serve. <clears throat> Van with uh, a lot of topspin, trying to put a, maybe a little bit too much topspin on that last shot. Unfortunate off the net, out of bounds. A uh, good follow up. Able to get the pop up and the put away. Some very good dinking, good patience. Just out. I think we might be at eight twelve. Eight twelve. Eight twelve one. Good hands on both sides, good re resets, good soft hands. And an excellent finish on that poach by Jordan in the middle. We're looking at 8-12-2. Oh, on a 
good shot. Really caught TJ off guard. Nice shot by Van. Uh, unfortunate off the net. Really no bounce. I think we're at 10 12. 10 12 2. Oh, almost a fantastic dig off his, basically off his ankles by Van. 12, 10, 1. Oh, just catches the tape. We're at 12, 10, 2. Excellent shot, soft hands over there by Van. Took that drive and just reset it very softly into the kitchen. That shot was just a bit deep. And that was just a little deep. So I think this is a very tight match right now. 11-12, oh, he got a little quick on that serve, didn't really give himself a chance to set. Maybe trying to catch his opponents. 12-11-1. Uh, oh. And we had an out call at 12-11-2 now. TJ and Adam felt like that ball was out, and there's a good cross-court attack, which uh, not typically what you would recommend, but a, uh, a good, good strong shot. 12-11-1. Wow, good hands by <coughs> Jordan over there. That was an excellent shot by Van. And side out at 11, 12, or so it'll be 12, 11, I believe, on the one. And it looks like the far court game has ended and I have no idea who won. That was defended well, but caused enough havoc to have a pop-up that was easily put away by Jordan. And that's out. So maybe 13, 11? 14-11, so match point. Oh, oh, and they got away with a short lob that wasn't really a lob, uh, but uh, hidden to the net by Van. So TJ and Adam with the victory.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Uh, no one on court number two, but we have a, uh, a game coming on here on court number one. Sam and Colton versus, I think his name is Keith, and the other guy, maybe Ben? Not sure. Yeah. Very just a great way to see how you play the game right here. Both these guys, all four of these guys right now actually playing very high level pickleball with the resets, great dinks, knowing when to speed up, being able to defend the speed up. That was a really good, good point. Well, excellent attack by Sam. He was reaching in, maybe should have let that ball bounce. And might have been in a better position defensively. Yeah, Sam and Colton are very, very good players. Probably the two highest rated players, uh, duper rated players here today. Wow, what a get. Lucky off the net there, but uh, good patience. Found an opening, took the attack. I think if it didn't hit the net, probably was going to be coming back. Apologize for not having any idea what the score is. Wow, so we had a, an Ernie defended. A nice pick up on the uh, defensive side and then a uh, good put away by Sam. Boy, they just, there's not a lot they miss. And then uh, an Ernie on the, the save. Quite frankly, it's a good save, and Sam just earned it right in their face. A little insult to injury. But that, again, excellent team. Very hotly rated. Great job getting that first one back. Sam did a good job staying out of the kitchen and then Colton just put it away. So I think the 
first half, or the, the round robin is winding down. I think these are the last couple of games, maybe the last game, before we get to the medal rounds. there. So quite a few Ernie's in this match over here on the far court. And you'll notice not every single Ernie is a put away, a guaranteed win. So there's some good defensive play on these Ernie's, but what happens typically is you wind up, even if you get it back, you're in a, a tough spot and you're making it very difficult for your opponents. A uh, little deep on that return and that might be the side change at eight. And if that's the case, I'm going to assume that Colton and Sam are in the lead with at least eight points, and I have no idea what the other guys have. It just, it just messes up your timing. He had way more time than I think he realized on that ball that came off the net. But it just sets you off that little bit. Just enough to screw you up. Oh, good point. Really nice thinking here. He thought he was going to do an earning, and it didn't quite work out that way, but he was able to get back into position. And you'll notice, too, that they don't just get into a rhythm and hit it, you know, to the same backhand, backhand. They're trying to move the ball around. Excellent point right there all around. So, you know, the key is try to make your opponent uncomfortable. And you do that by moving them around, making them, you know, not get into a groove in that same backhand motion, but then to put it to their forehand. And uh, there's a nice Ernie. Colton, very smooth. I believe the highest rated player out here. Wow, very nice shot, Kim. Sam Kim. <clears throat> so a little flick of the wrist, caught them coming in, hit it right past them, right down the middle. Not a lot of power behind it, you don't need that. That's a placement shot. All right, looks like we might be getting our uh, next match here on championship court. Shot traveled just a bit long. So it looks like side out. Sam and Colton have a pretty good match happening right there. Again, not 
100% sure what the score is, but uh, I believe it's fairly close. Well, some last couple points have been really solid by the, uh, by I think Keith and I think Ben. <laughs> and again, guys, apologize if that's not your names. Oh, so I think we have a really good match here on court two. Cesar, and I think that's Tracy against Cynthia and Allen. Yeah, that's, yep. So this should be a really, really good game. So uh, get ready, folks. Nice play on the for, far court there. Oh, good shot. Colton might have gotten away with an out ball on the initial shot. But. That had a little uh, technical difficulty. That's a weird one. Loud, yeah, okay. Yeah, something's weird with the equipment. It's all right. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Check, check. Are we on or no? It's weird because I don't see the light. Uh, we just saw fantastic Ernie on the far court. Here we go, starting here. This, uh, which should be one of the best matches of the day. Quite frankly, I, I would think Cesar against Allen, Cynthia, and uh, Tracy is Cesar's partner. Odd. All right. I think you're back online now, Keith. No, we're both back on. It's just a weird stereo track thing. It's all right. It's all right. It'll be fine. Back to the pickleball. Yep. Back to the pickleball. Wow, good point. I mean, really, this this could be one of the premier matches of the, the tournament right here. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get the score. One zero. 
I think you unplugged me. Hello? Not sure if I'm back online or not, but. Okay, I'm off. That's weird, I didn't do that. So, shut me off and then. Time, there's some fantastic pickleball yeah, happening right in front of us. Some, some, here we go. We you just that. know this is a live mic. Wow, oh, great no, hands, great hands. Um, or just unplug it. Separate mics. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of feedback on this. Very loud, yeah. It's very loud. Right, fine. Uh, there you go. How's that? Uh, good better. play. Good play. Good, better. 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 Right, so yeah. we can, but can you shut here. this one off? Nice job resetting. Those were not easy shots. Cynthia hit some really nasty backhands. Stazar came in for the attack a little bit low. Looks like he's switched to the gearbox power paddle. Nice return. Wow, what a very nice return by Allen over there. Tracy is playing the carbon. Uh, Allen has a Selkirk, and I'm not sure what Cynthia is playing. I'll tell you in a second. An engage paddle. I think the same as her brother. Caught her off guard a little bit there. Just wide. Not sure what the score is, but I... Great hands, like two of those shots should have been already over, but uh, Cesar able to reset them. Unfortunately, not so much on the fourth one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I am close to being speechless right now. We have a the famous actor. World-renowned actor, Mike Mike Toe, and to, oh, um, Brando-esque, shall I say? Uh, makes you know uh, he's turned Martin Scorsese down. Uh, I think he's also said no to Spielberg a couple times. Uh, he is 
Uh, Mike Toe, Lionel. I'm doing well, man. Doing well. This is uh, I'm playing horribly, but that's all right. We played. Um, we've been playing. I uh, just came back from Del Rey. We've, we've been playing with. The, um, I got tons of excuses coming coming up. So, uh, you know, the eyesight. It's a little dark here. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the the time came from Florida. You know. From Florida. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Del Rey Beach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's got to be at least uh, three hours behind. Oh, easily. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we played we played with Franklin Center, so here we're playing with the Durs, and the Durs have so much more um, pop. Yes, exactly. Um, much harder to control, oh, wow, much faster exactly. speed. Amazing. So, sister, sister's playing well. Yeah, so she playing, so she has she played on this court here. Figure that. This is her first time on championship court. One of us. So it's interesting. They make it correct because yeah. uh, why not? Yes. Um, I think she got nervous. She said, oh, well, look, my brother's on the mic. I didn't screw up the shot. Yeah, no, she, I, could be, I could be right here. Or, um, yeah, she, she's a, she's a steely focus. Oh, yeah. It, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't change her. Uh, I, so I, I was telling people earlier. I, I just took it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just a, took it. Uh, and I was like, oh, who are they playing here? And it, you know, it was bomb intruders. Center court, little no, pop up them. box. Oh. Like, Wait, Cynthia! Yeah. That, that's Cynthia! From the oh, it's, like, you know, it's all part of the plan. Yeah, I'm going to so do this soon. Really great. They, uh, I think it was a qualifier for the APP, and her and her partner, they at least won that match. I mean, yeah, try I not to be aware. Right. No, I can't see that. But, uh, yeah. yeah, they did great. Yeah, yeah uh, she, uh, she played Jason with Nelson. Yep. Ah, okay. Who is no, a uh, all it takes sometimes. Top uh, doubles there. <laughs> and I uh, they. Yes, she I plays do. that and then she has her, she's been changing a, a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different female partners for her. For her gender doubles. Yeah. There's some great young players coming up. Yeah. Uh, now, is that uh, one of the Kalamata girls? Yeah. Was, was, uh, there was a photo or something? Jackie. Photo? Yeah, Jackie came down. Oh, Jackie. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, came down with my sister yeah. and uh, they ended up playing... Um, you know, Christian Alshon, is that who I saw Jackie was with? Yeah, um, Jackie, Jackie was picked high for the, he was, he was, uh, you know, the MLP draft, he was pretty, pretty high pitch. Ah, wow, what a nice shot. Nice shot, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy, okay, oh, cool. kind of moving, moving to his left, hitting to his right, great shot. Yeah. I mean, Tr Tracy and, Nick and Cesar are, are I, know. Lion. I, see. I would say that the, the, the top, so, so what I have, what, right now, what I have to yeah. do is I have to focus. Yeah. So when the battle rounds come up, I have to do your, this. Your mic is on, guys, I think. You something. can hear us? Yeah. You probably hear us from the side. I don't know. Sounds no? Like your, no I think it's on. Sounds like your mic is on. Yeah, it's on. Uh, something's on? Yeah. Ooh, okay. It's, it's weird. Oh, sorry, it's we're sorry. No. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think she's on. Yeah, no, I, I think it's on. I made a mistake. I, I played against. I'm not sure my mic is on. Oh, this is the wrong one. Yeah. No one's heard. So. No, oh, there we go. All right. That's better. Now, are you still on? Say something for me, Mike. I don't think Mike's on anymore. What happened? Test one, two. Oh, mine is. I don't hear anything from him. Oh, Test one, two. Yeah, there we go. There you go. That's All better. Right. There we are. Oh, wow. Nice That's play. Right. Nice play. And so, you know, Alan's one of, kind of one of the most, uh, you know, experienced players you know, in the yeah. area. One of, he's been playing at a high level for such a long time. We were down in, in Del Rey and, you know, people who know knew Alan down there and kind of asking about him. He's a, you know, he's just been a top player for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I played uh, a while ago in Connecticut. Mike DeFran and I played Mike, in, I'm sorry, Alan, and uh, I don't, I forget who his partner was. But it was for the gold medal match. Oh, nice. And um, we got out to like an 8-2. to two, So we, we traded sides at 8-2 to two or something like that. And we wound up losing 15-8. to eight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So there you go. Well, so. I mean, I mean, uh, even though that, that happened with, with uh, Alan and whoever we played with, I mean, that's, that's, not, that's not too shabby. No, it was, you know, but that, that was a few years ago. Alan has gotten very, very good since. I mean, he was always good. There were shots where I thought, for sure, it's like it's behind him. 
he's going that to his right, and the ball was hit back behind him to the left, and somehow he would get to it, which, you know, I just like, we stop. It's very really annoying. So You know, one of the things about his shot is that when you see, when you watch the game and you watch his, his dinks or his drops, they, you know, they don't, you don't see, what you don't see through the camera is the spin. Oh, and yeah. there's so much spin that he has on it that you and you know you see someone all of a sudden the other player misses the dink like how could you miss the dink that's, that's, that's yeah. like such a uh, uh, soft nothing shot but if you actually if you're playing it you see his spin and his spin like all of a sudden you're hitting what you're thinking straight ahead and it's spinning off to the left uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you, and that doesn't show on camera that much no no just like when you watch the pros like you sit there watching the pro games and you're like oh like why why aren't they killing that I'd kill that ball. And it's it's just you, you you can't appreciate it until you're actually playing against it. So yeah, it's hard also to see because the you know because the camera angles. I don't think they've mastered that yet. But because the camera angles are, are sometimes you know not necessarily at the at the at the at the kitchen line, usually from the from the behind, you can't see necessarily the, the how high or low the ball is. Oh you yeah. Know, unless it's the the, the, the kitchen yeah. uh, cam, and when you and because when the ball is you know when the ball is. It looks like it's such a soft floater, but you're, what you're not seeing is that it's either really short, so you have to reach in, or it's too low. And but you can't see that yeah. if, it, if the angle's wrong. Yeah, I, they started using drones, I think, because where they come in and you've got that overhead view, and you start watching some of the hand exchanges and how fast I shot some. those balls are. Yeah, like Cynthia put that one away. She hits the ball harder than anyone. I mean, it's insane because she's not a big lady. <laughs> but she was, uh, she was, she was ranked in the was world. Was it BC? In yeah, she's Hall of Famer, top BC player ah, in history. Okay. Um, she played a year uh, on the circuit, got to like 300 in the world, and then she went to law school. But she probably they were talking about that she probably could have gone to about top 100, but not higher because her she had a backhand of a top 50. Okay. But not, uh, but, but that, but not the forehand of yeah. the top 50. So, uh, you know, if you look at her, she's five. Two, yeah, uh, and you little. have these, you know, these other these pro players were you know, five eleven, oh, yeah. big hitters, um, and you know that takes a, that just takes a big toll. That traveling on that circuit, even for that year that she did, uh, you know, I remember I was in uh, college when she was doing that. Uh, no, sorry, I, I was, uh, you know, my twenties when she was doing that. But um, you know that takes a toll because you're not making tons, mm -hmm. and it's it's similar to to pro pickleball generally now. And I'm not talking about the top players, but you know yeah. now they're having some money, which is great. But every week you're you're going from you know, going from um, city to city to city, yeah. hotel to hotel to hotel, and it's uh, you know it's it's a it's, grind. Oh no, it's tough. Yeah, you know, and that, that's what the, I don't think people realize. You know, you see oh you watch and you see the finals and you see, you know, uh, what's happened. You don't realize they already played eight other matches that same day. Um, so it it is a, a unique kind of sport that way. Oh, that was an ITP. We call that an ITP instead yeah. of an ATP. I thought it was an, uh, around the post. <laughs> it was, it was in the post. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good one. I like it. Yeah. Did you did you coin that phrase? I did. That's a really good one. I, or I or maybe I, I did. I don't know. I, I think that could be T-shirts. Yeah. ITP. That's ch typically my shot is an ITP. See, like oh. that's just a really good yeah. setup. Alan with the put away. And Tracy, so I played against Tracy and, um, you know, Mark Pellegrino. Yeah, sure. Good players. And so I know Mark. So, you know, and I, you look at Tracy, I'm like, oh, yeah, all right. So we're going to we're gonna target Tracy. Yeah, that was a big mistake because <laughs> um, he's a fantastic player. Yep. And uh, I, I want to say that was here for one of the, maybe the four fives or at least the four row plus. Cesar's got such quick hands. This is a great point right now. Yeah, great point here. Oh. Boom, with the poach. Good shot. Yeah. So, wow. Well, I appreciate you jumping in, yeah. man. This is good. Absolutely. I, didn't, I, uh, I actually, at one point, was talking to myself and using a different voice. You know. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's your, um, pick, Jimmy Pickles? Is Jimmy that? Pickles, yeah, you know it. So when are you going to come on? I, I, I would love to do an interview, just you and I, right? And we'll just sit down and talk. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's talk. We you have know, the... We have the NPL draft that's coming up on. Yes. Uh, on now, how did you do? Did right. you uh, did you qualify? Like I know Natasha was one of the two out of the sixty or whatever it was women. Yeah, Natasha played great. We had um, we had a bunch of people who were local who came in local, um, and what they did was they ended up having 
a bunch of matches that you play with everybody once in your pool. So there's eight people in the pool, in your pod, and the top two move on. And uh, uh, so I was five and two in my pod, which um, That's unfortunately- That's great. Yeah, it was great. Um, but unfortunately, it was tied. Uh, uh, tied for no. second. So what happened was we ended up having, it went down to points, and I lost by like two points or something from, uh. so over the overall. But, uh, and then from four and three the next day, so nine and five. I'm um, happy with it, which is good. I played, played, played my game, that's which is all you can really ask for. Man. I mean um, but the difference between having, you know, five and two with two less points or two more is that all of a sudden, if you're top, if you were the top two, you now go. It was top sixteen, and that already just breaks it down to the next level. So the difference between a few points and making that top sixteen or not, it's now a harder road to get drafted. Yeah, uh, I hear you. I uh, hear but it's still a, you know, still a great. Uh, great experience. Five and two is strong. That's that's fantastic. Congrats. Well, that, that's one of the things with that Ooh. that ma- oh, nice. uh, that's the thing with Tracy uh, Tracy or season. Really, ball, yeah. yeah the the two up. of them hit the ball really yeah. hard. You get that ball up. It, 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 yeah. Good night. And Cesar's got one of those like crazy that forehand topspin <laughs> shot is just. Shoot. And you're a pal guy. You had in the you had in the um, the gearbox and boom. That that's yes. power. Yeah, that that is a dangerous paddle. <laughs> so those are always tough. Those those plays right there, where Tracy, uh, where yeah. Cesar came over the right, but sometimes you, it's, it's hard as a left hand player sometimes to let that to right. technically Especially, let that go. Yeah, if you're not used, to, like you know, if you stack, you know, as the that you know the what is he right side guy, that you know, okay, I'm gonna stack off and let the forehand come in and take that, but they're not stacking. So it was an aggressive play by Cesar. Well, actually, they are stacking. All right. Ooh, and that's not a great serve. Um, but uh, but it is. It's it's hard that communication sometimes because you know you get so deep into the other guy's side, and you know he's a fantastic player in his own right. So you know who's gonna take it? You know, and yeah. then, then you wind up getting into that that issue where they have that problem. Yeah, I got a chance. I got a chance to play with. Um, I'm on the Humana Cup, the APP Humana Cup team. And on Friday, we played play with uh, Marcelo Jardine, who is, who is Simone's Simone. brother, oh, okay. top uh, Padel player. And so while he's top Padel, I wasn't sure exactly what his, you know, how, what he would be at pickleball. And so what was happening is I, I knew he was good. I played the right, but sometimes I didn't realize. We our first, game, first point together was in a game. You know, so we, we got matched up, no warm up. <laughs> but he would come in and so quick. That normally, you know, other 50 plus players, you know, 50 year old players, that ball would be already, you know, someone they wouldn't be there already. Right, he right. was so quick that I would grab that ball from my from the right side, and he would be he'd be someone who, who you know, who uh, would have been right there. So I had to lay off that. It's hard, it's yeah, hard to do because yeah. your instincts are to, especially when you haven't played with somebody before, right? right? So, but it seems like you know Tracy and and Cesar have played together, and you can see that you can yeah. see that. That's, and that's and I know your sister and Alan play together a lot, so. But this is a this is a really high level play right here, which is I you know we were talking about earlier. There's such good play in New England. It's it's kind of crazy. And it's interesting too. You see you see my sister doing a, a slice here, yep. uh, which is something that's she's comfortable. But then now she kind of runs around with that forehand. Yep. But things that that's keeps him off, the, like she's moving him around, and and uh, and then you know ultimately turns into that what winds up being a bad bad shot. So no, she's she's you know playing fantastic all around. So I don't I don't know what Cesar and Tracy's record is, I'm, I'm, but I'm sure they're doing well. But at this point here, this is probably one of the final final matches of the of the of the I think pool it play. Might be the last. I'm looking around. I don't. Oh, there's one other match going on behind me. Yeah. Oh, with the ATP. Now that, ATP. Was, that a was a great shot. shot. Yeah. So what they're doing right now is playing for their for the seeding. Right. Right. The, uh, yeah. The Both these teams, I yeah. have to believe, are going to be in the medal match. So. Yes. Uh, the the playoff round. Yeah. 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 Play. Sorry. Playoff round. And so whether or not they can, you know, I guess that the difference between that first, you know, let's say that first seed, or maybe the second or third seed. Yeah, Ooh, possibly. Uh, it looked like a really good drop, and uh, Cesar tried to catch it out of the air, and it caught him out of, right out of his ankles. I gotta so. someone up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So what do you have coming up? Anything uh, work-wise? Any new uh, shows or anything? Yeah, it's just on, on the on the uh, just on the uh, the new Taylor Chardon show uh, called um, Landman, which is with Demi Moore and. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton and John Hamm. Oh man! So, uh, oh, I got a chance we to play to, with them. Yeah. yeah, we definitely got to talk about that. So, w- so what is that going to be on? Uh, Prime. Uh, it's Paramount Plus. It's a new series. Okay. Yeah. And it'll come out. Because um, Te- Taylor Sheridan, I mean, that's the guy right now. And that cast sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. So Taylor, so Taylor hired me there from Lions. So he was. He doesn't. Uh, he's a. He's such a huge, you know, uh, uh, producer and showrunner. And writer, he doesn't come to his shows, and so. Uh, but it was great to he came with the the star of Linus to visit Landman the set, and uh, was in uh, is in Fort Worth, which is where his he has two ranches in Texas, yeah, and one's right in right in Fort Worth. But he got a chance. So when he came in, I was doing a scene with with Demi Moore and, and Billy Bob Thornton, and and uh, Taylor Sheridan. I didn't. I, I don't wear my glasses in, in the match, <laughs> so he comes over when I and, and when I'm when yeah I'm when filming. you're acting yeah. And so what he does is he can't and this guy comes over, cowboy hat, you know, <laughs> white t-shirt, and I didn't see it until three feet in front of me that that was him. And so right in me right in. Front Did of you me. think he was coming to take your food order or something <laughs> like yeah. you know? It was right after a shot with and I was kind of nervous. I was already with you know just focusing on my lines yeah. with Demi Moore and Billy Walter. And then he comes up and then introduces himself and says you know. You know, great job, in Linus. We wanted, we, we, you know, wanted to have you here to kind of, you know, to be in this kind of scene here, and you know, he wants to be back. So it was, was kind of cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I, I told, I, we talked about you a little bit earlier when you were on the, the center court, and I said, you know, how, what a great job you did with Linus. Because I, yeah, you, you played this uh, surgeon, and to me, I, I've asked you for medical advice, thinking that you're a doctor because you did <laughs> such a great job. So I appreciate um, that. Well, the, yeah. So the, I'm really looking forward to that one because that cast sounds fantastic. I mean, Billy Bob and I haven't seen Demi Moore in a while, but I'm sure like she still can bring it. So well, Demi Moore for me was somebody who growing up. I, so in line, so it was Zoe Saldana and Nicole Kidman. Actually, Nicole Kidman uh, gave me a compliment at the end of uh, line. Uh, she was saying, I, I, I want to give you my highest compliment to an actor. And you were so believable as your role. And I was, I, at that point, I didn't really, I, I thought she said that earlier, but, but, um, but Taylor said the same thing. So I, 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 so I appreciate it. And I said it. Jimmy Pickle said Jimmy it. Pickle so said there you go. Said, yeah. Validation, Mike. <laughs> there it is. That's fantastic. I mean, it's just wild. Like, think about that. Because those are some amazing, I mean, you know, Demi Moore back with the Rat Pack or whatever they're called, the Brat Pack back in the day. And, St. Elmo's um, Fire. Oh right? yeah, so good. The propo- wow, wow, what a, what a what get! A oh, wow, wow, good shot. Yeah. So it's funny. It's when you have balls like that, when you, it goes over your head, there's two different th- rules of thought: whether or not to lob it back, or, or, or hit a to line, draw, or, or, or drop, drop it, or, it, or drop yeah. again. Um, it seems like the rule of thumb is to do the drop, but but um, but yeah. I, I think especially with a team like Tracy and Cesar. Going catch for that him ball off guard, that, yeah. Or I think that drop yeah. would have been kind of a better shot because they're any ball that's up for these guys, oh, yeah. they're no, putting no, no. it away. Yeah. They hit the you know, these are the guys that hit hit the ball eight thousand miles an hour. So yeah. I mean, ordinarily, and it was not it wasn't like it was a bad drop. I mean a uh, lob, it was just you know, Cesar's He's got he's got a good good overhand slam. So that's right. This is a timeout here. Do you know what the score is? I I you know I do not have any idea what the score is. So, so when you say what the score is here is a joke. Yeah, we oh. so we don't know. We have no idea. <laughs> we we guess. No idea. I'm gonna say it's eleven to s- ten. Let's let's <laughs> find, let, let's find out here. Yeah. <laughs> so we have oh this is this is called. Oh, 1211. Look at I was close. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 1211. 1211. That's uh This is a great match. Which is, we kind of we thought this would be one of the marquee nice inside marquee out. games, yeah. Nice inside out. Very nice shot, yeah. So 12-11-2. So do you does anybody when you, you know, you travel and you play with these act, or you're at, you're doing your job with these actors and actresses? Does anybody play pickleball? Yeah, so I, I every time I bring my paddle, 
So I bring my paddle, and I and part of the conversation is is always, you know, I always bring it up. Oh yeah, I have, you know, pickleball, something, 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 and hopefully they they pick up on it because pickleball is such a wow, great shot by Alan, great counter. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, came great right counter. across the middle. But in terms of um, bring it up, yes, bring it up. That's, yeah, no, it's my oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get in there. What do you, bring it up. What I just you, try to bring it up every time. Right? Well, I thought you were trying to kiss That's me. Right. Like, yeah, back yeah. off. Because once you, once you, exactly, once you bring it up, it's, um, it's, it becomes, if you are a pickleball person, you you hear pickleball, you hear Johns, you hear An A L, oh, yeah. you know, you, you, you know, A L W, any, a few of those things. The the right person who's passionate about pickleball jumps on that. You oh, don't yeah. need to say too much, right? They get just, right into it, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, oh, yeah, what are you, were you out today? Oh, not too much, but I you know, might do a little pickleball this week. You know, and if, that's all you need to say. And if you're a passionate person on it, you'll jump on it. If you let it go, it, it, it there's no, you know, if, if you, they don't say anything, that means they're not pickleball people. But yeah. the right I, person will. I, you, you're talking about, you know, like, take a shot. Like, just see, okay. just yeah. throw it out there. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you yeah. throw it out there and... It is, and if it is... What's the harm? What's the harm? That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, w and the right person... Give me back my mic. What are you doing? The right person will jump on that. Uh, yeah. No, and that's cool. So, like, I, you know, I travel a lot for work. I'm not an actor, and I don't play one on TV. Uh, great, um, great Ernie Mike says it. Yeah, that was very nicely done. Um, <clears throat> but I do bring my paddle. So I, I always look for games, and I'm down south a lot. So, uh, and it's, it's great. You just, you know... I'll, I'll walk into the, the hotel or even like you know the, the local bar and be like, "Hey, who, where's, where can I play pickleball around here?" And it's amazing like how many people actually will say, "Oh, you can go down the street," or you know, "Hey, my buddy plays. Let me text him for you." And it's wild, you know. It's such, such a cool community. But yes, yeah, so when I have you on, I'm gonna hold on some of these questions about the uh, the. The actors who play and all that stuff. We'll get into that, but I we'll get you on the channel. I'll give you one. Uh, when I was on Law and Order, Chris Maloney, who's a who's a wow. Oh yeah. Uh, look at he, Cesar. Well, he right he, wear, he does a Copperfit commercial, so he's you know, I he's, can see him doing pickleball. He's that a big, big athlete. He's a big athlete. He looks like an athlete. Yeah, yeah. he was a base uh, like a semi-pro baseball player. Was a, was a uh, QB in, in in football. Oh wow. Um, but his mom played. I was a QB in high school. Were you? Just, just so you know. Full disclosure. Oh, well, she had it almost. No. I played for football as well. I, my, uh, my position was um, left out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, you know, the, the, the team needs backups too, Mike. <laughs> Gosh forbid somebody gets hurt. All right, this is, this is down to the wire here. Did you hear the score? Oh, that's oh, oh. wow! Was that that would have been? A, imagine if that was the end. That'd be I, a tough way to I end. I think it. that was four, fourteen. So you, sometimes you have one of those net cords like okay. that, and that can change the oh gosh, that can change yeah. the momentum of the game. Fourteen. Oof. Wow! Oh, wow. Whoa! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> what did you say about Cesar? He hits the ball hard. <laughs> Ooh. That's really loud. Oh, all right. All right, looks like I, I am test, up. One, two, test. But uh, Jimmy Pickles, have, thank you for having me. My toe. All right, we'll see. We'll see you on the uh, the pickle the podcast soon. The that was a, podcast. that was a pleasure, man. Thanks for pleasure, pleasure thanks for hopping in. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for being we'll here, buddy. We'll see you soon. It's good talking to you, man. Oh, easy put away there. All right, what do we got? Let's we'll see good what stuff, the score is. Yeah. Oh, he's great. Can't wait to get him on. I gotta do a little uh, interview with him hey, at some point. You got a pod coming up? Well, we're gonna we're gonna do it. I've been asking him for a while. Looks like he's ready to, to give it a shot. Uh, he seems to be just fine with the mic. So, well, he is a professional actor, so I, w I would hope he would not be afraid of a mic. You just never know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure he's just fine. I can't hear what he said. 13, 14. Wide. Ah, nice attack by Cynthia there. I'd love to know. All right, see if you can hear what the score is. Oh, do we have a timeout? No. Nope. Maybe not, a, not an official timeout. All right, here we go. I 
something. Those, those are the drinks of dreams. The dinks of dreams, you know? <laughs> the drinks of dreams. Drinks, yeah, dinks. Hey, yeah. yeah the, dr the dinks of dreams. Like, they, oh, make, they put you to sleep. Very good. Very good uh, dinking you like on that? both sides. Yeah. yeah, that's good. They serve beer here. Oh, <laughs> nice attack by Tracy there. I'm not sure. Alan seems disgusted with himself. What do we got here? It's a second serve. 14-14? Is that what I heard? I just barely hear it, and then I hear it I wrong. I thought he said 14-14. Ooh. 14-14, too. Wow, that was a great dig. <laughs> All right, I think it's 14-14 now on the other side, and it's win by one if I if I remember correctly. So it's one by one if I remember. I do remember. It is one by one. If it's punishing. Oh. All right, they avoided one. So yeah, this is a big point here. So 14-14. On the second serve. Cynthia is so consistent. Oh, just off the net. Great hands. Wow. Wow. Oh. Little miscommunication oh. there. Wow. What a the great The pain point. is felt like along the fence. It went all along the fence. Everybody kept felt pain. You're screaming into the mic there, my friend. <laughs> Blowing out my eardrums. <laughs> it was a great point. I know, I forgot about the mic. All right. 13 14. I'm sorry. 13 14. So that was a huge, huge point. Oh, did she get it? I think it was in. So we're we looking at 14 all. 14, 14, 1. Win by one, yes. Win by one. It's win by one. Fourteen, fourteen. Wow, this is a nail biter. Oh, what a dig! Oh man, she had such great resets, and frankly, missed the easier of the three. Still, that's that's tough. Quite a crowd gathering here to watch the final point. Nice placement. And there it is, folks. Wow, what a game. A little misdirect back at Tracy. Cynthia McPherson with the winner. All right, we'll take a quick uh, three minute TV time.
Well, no, we, yeah, or if you should mute everything or not. Um, but I'll tell you this, it doesn't actually matter. These mics are very sensitive to you and it's still So why don't we just... No, no, it won't work. So that part won't work. So you actually want to collect it with the mic to work, and then you just... Yeah, yeah. So it's just the only way I'm going to get this to work. So, oh, great hands. Oh, great hands. A little bit deep on that one. This is a really good game. I'm not sure what the score is. We'll see if we can find out for you. 6-7? Is that what I heard? Oh, a little unfortunate there. Good reflexes to get that ball off the net, but just a little aggressive with that shot. Oh, Colton with a nice two-handed backhand drive. That's a tough one to uh, <clears throat> get back into play. Good put away Test, there. Yeah. Yeah, it's good team communication there where you called your partner off, let him know the ball was going out. So not sure if we have a timeout or, oh, okay, so that must have been uh, the eight point switch. So I believe Sam and Colton are up eight to, I'm not sure what the score is, I'll hopefully find out right now. Eight three? Eight eight? No, it can't be eight eight. I thought he said eight three. I think now it's three eight. No, that was deep. I'll tell you, he's the, the, the young man in the white is a very good player. I'm watching his play right now, and uh, just great hands, good placement. All right, looks like 6-8 uh, now, possibly. All right, seven, eight. Uh, really good hands. Nice two hand backhand. Oh, what a get, what a get. Oh, and there's a ball. Oh, wow, what a great point. Interrupted by the ball. That's that's no fun. That was a fantastic point. Okay, the uh, team really running a shake and bake extremely well. All right, see if I can catch the score. I think it might be 8-8. Yeah, 8-8. Eight, eight. I think he said 8-8-1. Eight, eight, oh, and that's just a little deep. 9-8. Yeah, 9-8-1. Good 
Very, very tough serve. Boy, that took a funky bounce. Colton put a little bit of topspin on that, I think. All right, looks like side out at 8-10 now. Drive, third shot drive for the winner. 9 10. Oh, nice finish by Sam. Colton set that up with a really, really strong dink. Popped up a little bit. Good hands. It was a good speed up and Colton was there for it. I don't think Sam liked that shot. Left it up for an easy put away. Wow, what hands, oh. Great hands all around. Colton able to get the ball back into play, but just a really strong shot. All right, I think we're at 9-9. Nine, nine. Nice work that point. Caught Sam out of position, popped it up a little bit, and the easy put away. Oh. Good defense of the Ernie. Able to keep the ball in play and then got the winner. Ooh, that's tough. I believe he said 991. Oh, there's a souvenir. Coming back over here. Ball had a little bit of uh, a little mustard on it. A little behind the back trick trickery. Oh, uh, good point. This is a really, really good game. Nine nine, I believe. Stays at 9-9 nine, nine with a side out. Not only did it go out of their court, it went all the way across to the other court. Went from court two to court 10. And oh, that was not a good, not a good throw. 
Yeah, Jordan's gonna help out. There we go, back in play. Yeah, a little bit deep, a little deep. Nice backhand. Yeah, it looks like a Selkirk Lux. Good shot by Colton. Hit the engage. Carbon and the gearbox. And then we have a timeout. in play. I think he's 10-10. Just a little short on that dink. It's not coming back. Nope. Oh, uh oh. We have a timeout. Looks like Colton might have a little bit of a muscle cramp. Okay, back in play. the score is. Wow, what hands, what hands. Great reflexes by Colton there. Let's see if I can catch the score. Uh, 1311 is what I think I heard. Oh, oh perfectly timed, Ernie. 1411. Wow, that was pretty. I tried that uh, this morning and I hit it into the net. And there it is, game over. Wow. Hey. Fantastic match right there. So 15-11, I believe, was the final. Excellent, excellent pickleball. All right, so I guess we will take a quick break and uh, wait for the next match to come on to either court. But uh, getting to the playoff rounds here coming up. I think that was the last of the uh, the round robins, so uh, should be exciting.
there'd be no commentary. Yeah. You, know, you just watch them going in to the score pop off and to where now you've got you know, professional uh, Hello, no. play play people and uh, the money's there, you know, so yeah. uh, yep. people are doing it for a living. Wow.
whole thing I tried to make sure when I was on those two points that you were preparing me.
Little hustle, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we hear ourselves. So we're not. We, we we've had, been talking we had, to nobody. We like, had gold. Wow. Are we on now? Yeah. We're on now. So sorry, guys. We had a great conversation. Probably. I don't know, Oscar worthy. I think um, I think Oscar worthy conversation. Yeah, conversation that our tech guys screwed up. So we were talking a lot about the uh, the data points between the angle of those uh, those forehand volleys that you know. Right. Uh, right. That, yes. Uh, is the no longer geometry yeah. and how you know. I think we solved the pickleball mystery, <laughs> and and uh, no one heard it. So, but that's okay. Yeah. Great job, no Keith. Heard it. You solved it. <laughs> So anyway, so I think what we're, I'm not quite sure what the score is here. Um, the far court, I believe Adam and Cynthia won that match. Um, so I think we got a little confusion on the score, possibly. So the courts here we have, on, on the court in front of you, we have Ryan Bernstein, Preston Gordon, who has the ball now, Ryan in the green with the black hat, across from them with the, with the hat. Uh, we have Colton Kellogg. And, uh, and the guy up at net is Sam Kemp. Yes. Some of the top players in the air. Yep. Very, very strong players. Except for that shot. So, yeah, Sam's, what did we say? Sam's probably 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and I think Colton is close to 6'0 oh at this point. So, um, and, you know, Ryan's playing really well. I don't think he's quite at that, that high of a duper. Oh, uh, there's a nice, nicely done. But what a great, what a great job. We just talked about that when yeah. you had that, that, that overhead there. Yep. I mean, that, the lob able, there. Yeah, and he came back the, and lobbed it yep. in. A little bit of a drop right back into him. So, yeah, great shot. But, you know, as, you, as we were saying earlier, you know, a lot of times, even though Duper might have a certain, you know, set, certain score for you, we're now talking about the second round of the playoffs. And at this point, with the pressure, it, you, you're not you're not winning. It's not a no. who has the higher duper wins the match. No, no. These are the all very good players, and, and you know you know the difference. It's between a a four zero and a I mean a four five and a five zero. It's really not that you know once you get to that level, it's more consistency than anything else. Like you know how to make the shots, you can make pretty much every shot. And that's a deep return. All right, all right. Let's see if we can catch a score here. Six five, five one. one. I oh, think six, six five one. Oh wow! All right, seven five one. Wow, this would be a, uh, we'll say, a little bit of an upset. If oh, really nice dig. He makes the hard one. Yeah, it made it's the hard so. one. <laughs> Not that the other one was easy. <laughs> it was easier. That's right. But, uh, but that was a good run, good yeah. run by, by Preston and Ryan. Yeah. Oh, Ryan was yeah. set up for that. Yeah, he waiting was waiting that. on that one. It's a good shot. 7-5-2. 7-5-2. Nicely done. Now Ernie on the third shot drop. That's just good timing, anticipating. You know, sometimes you like think, oh, I'm going to hit that third shot drop. It's going to be over there in the back corner. And you get somebody like Colton who can take that ball and Ernie you. Yeah. Oh. Look at that speed up by Sam. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, nicely done. Yep. I see him hold, Timed it well. hold, yeah. placed exactly where yeah. he wanted. Remind me of uh, Mel Gibson in Braveheart. Hold, hold, and then you know at the end comes on and oh, good shot Braveheart. there. Yeah, a little Braveheart. But it is like you know that to me that's the toughest when some you got somebody who's really good at disguising that shot. I met Mel Gibson. 
You uh, did. With, uh, well, I, was, I did a, a, sh- a movie with him called Edge of Darkness. It was when I first started starting the business. And uh, he was, he actually replaced, he came in to replace now, to replace De Niro. So really? Mel was there. Uh, no, actually not, sorry. Mel was always the star, there was, and De Niro was in the movie as well, but he, he was replaced midway through. Wow. That's a, that's a conversation for another day. Yeah. I can't wait to get uh, We're going to have like so much fun talking on the, uh, the podcast. Oh, what a shot. That's the earning we're talking about. Yeah. With and just like coming across, moving to his, his left, and then hitting the ball back to the right like that is just amazing. He must be able to. I mean, he's probably, what are you, 6'1", six, six, maybe? Yeah, I'd say. But probably, I, yeah. I bet he's. He's not the he's, tallest guy out there, but he's. Yeah, he, uh, got the ups. Yeah, I bet he's one of those guys who I bet I bet he can dunk a basketball. Oh, I yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, great shot. So De Niro, Mel Gibson, Nicole Kidman, Zoe Saldana. The new celebrities created a, a, um, a team. Is that what no, no, it's just like all the people that that Mike has gotten to know through oh. the years. So oh, I, I, I thought they were try to keep up, Keith. Had so. their own pickleball court in their back yard. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's where I thought we no. were going. Not quite. We're not. Okay. We're not there. Sorry, I got just confused. talking about all the amazing, really amazing so people. Maybe I'm a little too laser focused on the pickleball court. Oh wow! Yeah, Caught the paddle. Wow, that that was uh, that's hard. <laughs> I do that all the time. Like so, yes, my don't you think about it? Don't you wake you up? My hands are faster than my brain. Like so, my hands are up there, even though I know I'm not supposed to hit it. It's like I can't help myself. There's the Ernie. Again. There's another Ernie. So uh, here's and a little. He was there. It's like he was there to take that, and uh, but still, it's just the fact that he. He's earning that shot. <laughs> Just throws you off. Oh, nice, nice reach in by shot. Sam. Yeah. So here's a here's a fun fact. You know, you have that Kevin Bacon game. Two yeah, degrees six degrees three, from six Kevin. Degrees. Um, I'm gonna do six degrees from Mike Tao. Well, then you're <laughs> then you're two degrees from Kevin Bacon because I work with Kevin Bacon in this movie. No, uh, the Baconator. The ba- I love yeah. him. He's so good. Were you in the Boston? What's the thing he's doing now? Um, Boston, what's it called? Uh, yeah, it's, like it's the hill. A, it got canceled. Yeah, sitting on the hill. Ah, uh, that. Oh, it got canceled. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. It got so did two. Se- I think two seasons. They started out in um, in Providence. Yeah, uh, Bo- he was supposed yeah, to be yeah. a. Bo- it was supposed to be Boston based, though, yeah. right? And yeah. And then he, and then they, uh, they brought it out of Boston for season two. They brought it to New York for season two. Well, that's why it got canceled. Yeah. Well, you. It's actually true. If you watch the show, they end up having a lot of actors who pretend to have a Boston accent and yeah. those who are from Boston you end, you know, paying the, the, you end up paying the accent and you, you can't fake it no it's, it's, it, it, it just it doesn't come across right you know that's why like Affleck and Damon do such a great job because they, they're not faking it right you know like Goodwill Hunting and um, those those you know, hey you know, the Boston accent how do you like them apples you know that's 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 just natural for that's them, right. right so um, There's a lot of a lot of Boston guys. Oh yeah, yeah. the Wahlbergs. Yeah, that yeah, Marky Marky Mark. Um, oh, oh, good Preston. shot, good attack. You're on camera, now, Sam. Have you, Kim. have you done anything with him uh, with uh, Mark Wahlberg? I have not, and but Donnie's I know. Donnie's talented. He does. Um, he had the like the the most disturbing role was at uh, was it. Um, yeah, where he's played very but Yeah, I now. see dead people. Uh, what was that? Oh, great hands. Oh, wow. Come on, Ryan. Wow. But I have worked really with Donnie. Match. Yeah. I worked with Donnie in Blue Bloods. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, the, no, yep. but, but the show you're talking about. Um, Why can't I think of that? Yeah. Bruce Willis? Yeah, Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is that called? Oh, wow. See, that's your job. You Here's should Ernie. know that. Oh, what an Ernie that was. Oof. I think an S. Um, I think it starts with an S. I think you're right. Why? 
That's insane that I that neither one of us can remember that movie. The, so, uh, so it's the, the young kid from yeah, Forrest yeah, Gump, yeah. the young Forrest Gump. Yeah. That plays his little Yeah, name. it's Forrest Kid, Forrest Son, right? Yeah, Forrest uh, Son. What was that movie that Bruce Willis was in where he sees dead people? He was dead. The Midnight Sh- Shyamalan movie. Yeah. Six, Six cents. Two S's. Doom. There it is. I, I don't know. How we can, we I don't know. We can how did we not get that? that one. We didn't get that. No, that was. <laughs> should be the negative. We should <laughs> that should be embarrassing. Special. Thank you, Julie, for being here. How have we got six cents? I mean, come on. What, what a classic movie. I think uh, it might be the age, Jeff. Well, actually, my daughter, she she like figured it out. Because I, I said, "Oh, you'll never get this one. You'll never get this one." And she was like, "Oh, he's dead." Like, how did you figure that out? I, well, you know, probably because I told her, like, oh, there's a really cool, like, wow, good hands. You know why a lot of times it, that happens? It's because. It up, I think, maybe. No, but I think sometimes when those movies, like, the first time we saw it, right, that concept was new. Yes. Like, for your daughter, who's a generation after, they probably had tons of, of parodies, of copies of the same theme. And so to them, it's like that they've seen it all They're over. They're expecting the that. Fir- yeah. It was the first time that we've seen it. Yeah, it was, it was like, new. Whoa. Sha- was Shyamalan did break a little bit of the mold the way he did that, right? So yeah, was absolutely. That was t- yeah, yeah, so, yeah, for sure. Why is that? Your mic is always so loud. Why it's, is that? Th- there's something weird here, and uh, it's also a sensitive one, but uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, actually, my here you go. Here you go. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Better? Better? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Shyamalan does break some molds. So, um, oh, wow. You know, you got to give him. Oh, the hands. I give wow. him credit. You know. Yeah. As what, a do fan. we know the score by any chance, Keith? Have you? Oh. I have. No. You're asking. You go, every time you ask me that, I'm going to say no. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. That guy's been like, killing it. That was probably the, the one shot I've seen him not do very well with. Chance. So. Well, I know it's going to show up. You need to oh, catch no. up to the score is a, is a tough thing to do unless I know the first serve. That's the whole thing about this. Uh, I, oh. I can't wait to show you this. I see it. I see it. It looks pretty cool. Wow, the hands. Mm. So that was, that was the same speed up that Sam did before. Yep. But this time Preston was ready. Yeah, he definitely was on it, sitting on it, waiting on it. I'd love to know what the score is. Oh. All right. Felt a little tight on that. Yeah, yeah, I think the uh, the moment might be catching up with him. That's what we're talking about, right? Boom, boom. Wow, oh, wow, he's good. Those hands are like unbelievable. Still didn't hear the score. Um, yeah, they, that. What, what was his name again? The guy in the white shirt? Preston. What? Preston. Boy, oof. Hands are like unbelievable. 10 10 1. 10 10. Nice. Yeah, I see, I sense a little frustration with uh, Colton and Sam right now. Oh. Right. That's a pretty quick side out. Yeah. This is a really good match. We got that one up a little too high. Good finish by Sam. 10 10 2. Yeah, really good match. So Preston looks like he went swimming in the pool. Yeah, Ryan playing really well right now. Wow. 
Good hands, Great, Ryan. Great count yeah. to Ryan. He was there for it. Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, Colton, like, yeah, Colton's one of the better players out here. Timeout. Yeah, I think he's a little, uh, so that's 11-10 then? 11-10, 11-10. Two or one? Yeah, sure. But it's back to what we talked about earlier with, with now this is our, you know, our probably five and a half for playing. Yeah. But in terms of warming up, probably six and a half. Yeah. Yeah, definitely seeing, um, you know, and and it, like you mentioned earlier, it's that, you know, okay, it's getting to crunch time now. And, you know, who's going to be the guys who make the plays? And right now it's the uh, the other guys. I mean, it's 11 10 2. Oh, wow, great good shot. shot by great Sam. Great shot. Sam with the uh, with the sign uh, yep. know, for the, the winner. <laughs> oh, a little unfortunate. Eleven one is what I heard. Yep. Wow. Uh oh. Yeah, a little, little, little uh, chippy over there. <laughs> Talking some smack. You go, Preston. That was some smack. Great hands. Oh! oh. Wow. Great play. We're still we're at 11, right? Not up at 11, 11. 11, 11, 1. Uh, good shot, D. Always aim for the feet. Was out. <laughs> we right, a little, level uh, one. Yeah, a little, little chippy here. It's good. I like to see it. Oh man, a rare, rare miss by Preston. So 12 11 1. 12 11 1. There's only one other match happening right now. So I think we're getting down to the final four. Oh, I think Colton would like to have that one back. Just deep. So behind us, it looks like it's uh, Alan and Cynthia against our Colombian friends. I'm not sure what the score is, but someone just called timeout. Against Kobe and Miguel. Yeah, it might be down to the last four of them. <laughs> Are they Colombian? <laughs> I think those two, oh, the last, last two teams, sorry. Are they not playing? Oh, are they done? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. no, they were on a timeout. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Mike, it's been a long day, not just for the players, but us commentators too. Oh, it was good, fell right in. That's a feel your pain moment. <laughs> like a feel your pain. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. So maybe uh, I might have missed uh, spoke. <laughs> 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 His shirt said Columbia. Oh. 
So I assumed he was from Colombia. Oh, you unplugged me. What'd you do? Yep, I got it. All right, we're gonna have to fire, fire Keith. Oh, there we are. There we are. Our, our yep. tech guy is like fumbling through our stuff here. It's all right though, Keith. We still love you, buddy. I'm sorry about the unprofessional service that's being uh, displayed here. Thank you. Ooh. Oh my Sam was just trying to hurry there. His movements. I've never got to see his movements before. He's actually really good. Well, that's a great Whoa. point. Oh, he just got a paddle on that. Jesus. No. Nicely done. Wow. Great point. Twelve, eleven, one. Oh, oh, good take. Very good take. So we anticipated the cross court, yep. cross court dink there. Jump the corner. Yeah, the dink was left up a little bit high, and you took advantage of that. So 13, 11 on the one. Oh, good speed up by Ryan. He's pissed at himself. Because he had finesse before, and now not. And it's like, huh. Oh, good reset. Good reset. Oh. Nice. That's about the eighth Ernie <laughs> that we've seen from Colton. We so we're on, we're on ma tiny. match point. What a great match. Great play in there. Match great colors. match. Great yep. match. Good job all around. Uh, Sam and Sam Preston put in a good fight. Yeah, excellent.
Go. All right, oh, we, cool. we did a little yeah, camera yeah, yeah. adjustment, and now we are on uh, court number 11, and I think it is 9 to 13. That might be side out. It's a little, I'm trying to do this with, uh, on the live feed. And it's on a time delay. Come on, Tim. So, oh, there we go. Into the net. Second serve. Second serve, 9-13-2. That's I think we had a side out. A little difficult to tell from here. Yeah, so 13 9 1. like match point coming up 14 9 2 Wow there it is game over great match great points the crowd was certainly entertained So I think we are set now for the the championship match, no, no, this, no, this which I hope they put on really court that. number two. So I have to look yeah, over my shoulder. All right, you guys, you guys got five out of our medal matches. Next ones are two out of three. Game to eleven, win by two. No, we're tired, now. but we gotta get started. We gotta finish within the hour. <laughs> so gold medal <laughs> match is court two. All right, Ron, here we go. You decide if you want it on All one right. or eleven. Up to you. You can even go to 12 if you want. 
Hey, he's, he's the mean guy that Jimmy Pickles. <laughs> That's right. Somebody, somebody comment to tell this guy not to rash me too much. I haven't even drank anything. Imagine that. Wait till I, Last till time I, we did this, they we I, had I metal metal it. matches going on behind me yeah, in two empty courts in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, Johnny, yes, if I, I gave I, you I a actually, hard time. I have to that. get on Jimmy. I have to be with Jimmy on that one. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have the gold medal match coming up. Looks like uh, All right, no let's prepare. Colton and Sam. So what do we got? Is it gold medal? This is the last this, one? This is the gold medal gold match. Silver. All right, gold medal match right here. Oh, no, no. Gold silver. Gold medal match yeah. in silver. Yeah, gold, gold and silver. Gold match here. Okay. Two out of three. It sounded like Ooh. to 11 as opposed to two one game. Uh, well, that's okay. All right, so let's do this. I'm not prepared for this contingency. Why are you so loud? Every single time, oh, you're because, so loud. Because I have You such... blow my eardrums out, Keith, every time you jump in there. Oh, I, put, uh, I just lower it. That's all. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm also a loud person at the same time. All right. So let's do this. This should be a fantastic match, by the way. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. I have to do this part. Thank you. Hold on. I have to do the part. I want to make sure that the box is right and this is plugged in right. I have a, I have a like reason. <laughs> uh, the names you're going to do. Alright, All right, so do the names. Yeah, really excited about this one with Sam. Colton against Miguel, and I don't remember the other guy's name, but they are playing really, really like solid pickleball. <laughs> Very solid. Actually, the, uh, the bronze medal match should be <laughs> really entertaining as well. Unfortunately, they chose to play on the court behind us instead of on court number one, where we could have had both teams, both games, playing simultaneously. I can see that because you don't want that ball coming over and interrupting the game. And the chances of that happening from um, the back court into uh, the court in front of you is very slim. Whereas if you're side by side, there's a, a much greater chance the ball is going to come across and interrupt play. So can't say that I, you know, can get too mad at the guys for that. I, I probably would do the same thing the if I were in their position. Never mind the server thing. Yeah. Okay. Those are the people. Yep. All right. But it would be nice right, we'll to uh, have both games, but uh, we'll focus on the gold medal match instead. So just to remind everyone, there's a thousand dollar prize money on the line. That should be reminded. Looks like we're getting ready to start here. Am I on, Keith? You yes, are. All mics should all be mics live. Are on. All right. All live. So this should be a really, really, really strong match. All right. And we got so the uh, Miguel. bronze medal match off camera here to yeah, the left. Another fantastic match. Yeah. So they, they chose to not play on court one. Um, 
I think mostly because of, you know the ball pop, the potential of the ball coming across over the fence. It's a little dark in the corners over there too. Oh. I, I will say that that might be it as well. So courts one and court twelve, right, you get so a little, little shade from the uh, green tarp. Okay. Right. So yeah. Well, here we go, Sam Kim to start us off. So, so the interesting thing about um, oh my bad, go ahead. And I was just gonna say, do you know the gentleman in the white shirt's name? I, I know uh, it's Kobe. 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 Yep. So. The interesting thing, so I, I was chatting with Miguel and Kobe after we played them in our pool play, and they... Um, oh, nice shot. So they're both former high-level tennis players, and they play straight up the whole time. They don't, they don't usually stack, so it's it's pretty interesting to play them. So. Well, I don't, you know, I don't think you have to stack yeah, yeah, so to necessarily. Whatever. It's just, you know... Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. If you're equally as good okay, with your forehand, backhand, then it doesn't really matter. So, well, I can so Miguel, Kobe, and uh, Sam, and Colton. Oh, good shot. Hey, Keith. Keith. Okay, good. Hit mute on that quick. Oh, uh, no. Oh, he's got a drink in his hand, too. Look at him. Where did you find Let a dog bear, Johnny? Okay, okay, okay. You're on. Everybody's on. Oh. Everybody's on. <laughs> like, I'm jealous right now. Veteran move. It's a stout. Yes, I, I looked for a Guinness earlier, but I did not it see. Everybody's alive. My family's watching. I, I don't know. I sent, I sent Keith over there, so God knows what happened. So. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a pretty drop over yeah. there. Yeah, Miguel's very solid. Colby's very solid. All, actually, I mean, all of these guys are extremely solid. Yeah, they're solid. all solid. Very solid players, for sure. All four of them. All so eight of them, really. Sam with the uh, you and, trademark you and Adam smile well backhand winner. Yeah, we did pretty. We did okay. We did pretty good. We got to top eight out of 18 yeah. teams, so that's not bad. That's, that's pretty strong. Yeah, that's not bad. You definitely made it to the playoff round, right? Yeah. And we got we got eight points off these guys, so I mean that's all right. Yeah, there you go. That's better than all right. So you hit Johnny a shot that was reminiscent of um, James Ignatowicz. I saw you were over there on the far uh, number one, and the ball oh, was behind yes. you, and you were running and backwards. Cool. Yeah, did that you, was. Did you see that on the Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, yes. yeah that Dude, was fantastic. That nice. Okay, so Three, one, two, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I do yeah. realize that he didn't put T Dog up there once, did, but that's did. okay. It's right here. Oh, on the other yeah. side. Oh, okay. You know, it's just so small compared to. Uh, it's all good. But it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I would have liked it like bigger <laughs> right there. Yeah. It's yeah. Or on someone's head. Ooh. I think it'd be look. It'd be look, It would look five, good on someone's head. Yeah. Yeah, try to get it. It's five, it's five, one, two. Five, one, two. We'll try and we'll try and help when we can with the score, just because he's doing it manually. So. Just a reminder. Oh, game wow! Nice what a man. shot! Nice Look at that. Love Miguel the is looking for applause. Yeah. We'll give you, good, we'll you, give you some applause, Miguel. Great shot! Great shot! <laughs> Yeah, I'm it surprised. Like there was, so seemed like there was, was a more long day. For, yeah. <laughs> it was a long day. Oh, yeah, yeah, considering yeah. one, day. one. Uh... <laughs> but this is what I predicted. It's gonna be this crazy at the beginning. It was so fun though. I will say, I it was, was fun. Yeah, though. how'd you do, D? We did good. We did good. Yeah, I saw that. It, was our, it was our second event victories. together, so it was it was fun. We had some great points, Solid some good team, matches. Yeah, Noah's two, Noah's tall, very good. two tall dudes. I know Noah's Noah's <laughs> playing yeah, really Noah's good. good. Two tall excited dudes. about it. So it could be a sitcom. Yeah. Two yeah. tall dudes. Two tall dudes <laughs> <laughs> playing pickle. Yeah. Uh, Every sitcom has a pickleball game now. Did you notice that? I did not notice There's that. A, uh, wow. I think there was a movie that just came out, like that has pickleball, like is like one of the stories. I guess. Yeah. Wow. My wife showed it to me. I think it's coming on Netflix. That show Ghosts had pickleball. Really? On it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That Should we tell Tassiano that he's not playing any longer? He can take his goggles off. <laughs> oh my God. I think that's yeah. his. I think that's <laughs> those are his glasses. Too. Oh, those are his glasses. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'm sorry. They can't see. Jim, those, <laughs> those are the double hey, combo, buddy. Not only has it been a long day for the players, it's been a long day for oh Jimmy Pickles. It was, it was longer than last time, Jimmy Pickles. It was, uh, oh, but it yeah, was definitely. it was yeah. multiple draws last time. Jimmy Pickles left early even, last time because it was too late. Yeah, work. it was it was more work. Wow, this is oh, just good this is just wow. a marathon. Wow. What a yeah, this, is a this is the marathon day. Yeah. Tomorrow will be good too. Tomorrow will be. Meanwhile, a little, we missed a fantastic, pace, fantastic no, I saw shot. It. I saw it, Jim. That was pretty nasty. Six, five, I think uh, right. Tossy heard you, Jim. Right, right. <laughs> wow, good shot, nice Sam. Job. Hang on, I'll, I'll listen for it right now. It's tougher, yeah. It is five six one. Yeah, Colton yeah. is serving. Yep. yep. It's my first. Hey. Oh, a little, Come on, little baby. between the leg shot. Come on, stick with it, there you go. Oh, almost a and almost a backhand shot. Yeah. Wow. Good composure on that. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Timmer. I, I think you might have seen it. Timmer had one of the nicest behind the backs I've ever seen playing against us. <laughs> It might have might have been uh, Clarissa it then that the saw it. Oh, it was yeah, one yeah. of you guys. No, I looked I, I looked it. over right after and I made eye contact. Because they look so much yeah, alike. Right. I was going to say Clarissa and I don't look. <laughs> well, anything you might have been like walking. That. You might have been walking near her is what it was. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Uh, oh, nice shot. Look at that get. Yeah, that's a nice get. Oh, he popped it. Wow. Good yeah, put, away. put away. So are we looking at three five now? Or? No, we're at seven. I think five, we're we're oh, at seven, seven. No, I think it's seven. Are there serving? Was that right? side out? I think no. it, I think seven five one. Seven five eight, one. The uh, near team. We change it eight. Yep. Wait, no, yep. we don't. We're no. best of three. Yeah, best right? of three. So this game is to going 11. straight. Straight through. So straight we, through. it's just we Thank change in the third that. game. So you know what I have to do? Yeah. I have to flip the phone upside down. Where changes. No, oh. not, not this one, though. Good body wow. control. Oh. oh, wow. He stayed on top of the one off the net and got a little, point, though. A little ambitious there. Yeah. I think he just set the score wrong. All right, hang on. Let's should see what he six, says here. Should be, it should be 6 5 2. No, no, no. 7 5 2. 7 5 2. No, no, no. no. 8? Oh, oh, okay. okay. It was 5 1, and all of a sudden. Let's put some order in it here. Let's figure it out. <laughs> who, who says this is uh this is why we try to tell you guys to emphasize your score when you're on center. <laughs> okay, so they they got they got even for sure. They got odd, so it has to be five eight five eight one. Nice. Wow, what a shot! Well, I know that's six now. I yeah. know that much. Six eight one. Six, <laughs> okay. eight, one. Kate's got it, my man. So All six right. eight, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's something for you, I think we're gonna finish before eight, boys. That is one of my biggest worries. You're ambitious right now. Are you? No, two out of three <laughs> games to eleven. They're at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, I don't know what the score behind us is, that but one maybe. doesn't matter too much. Yeah. All right, all right, no okay. Either. So this yeah. one's okay. the money. So they it's care a money about game. This yeah, one. yeah. You're right. You're right. The other one's just for pride. For the medal, Sam. actually. Yeah, the Sam, Sam the, Kim the backhand count. Oh, medal. Invitational medal. Oh, yeah, medals. The bronze. Yes. Oh. Now, My bad, there, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't think the, the invitationals had medals. I always thought it was just you won money. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Wow. He got some air on that one. He, he had a little bit That's of air and a little shot. bit of power. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that a little bit is in. Huh, yeah, that paddle is nice and, uh, is nice it, and hot. Those yeah. gearbox. <laughs> I'll is put it, it like this. If you haven't faced the gearbox overhead yet, you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good hands. Good play all around. So I, I will say the Sam Kim fading one-handed backhand counter seems to be doing real well in this matchup. Mm. So... I'm, I'm surprised they're going to him as much as they are, but I will admit. Well, that happens oh, a lot. Colton, oh. Colton has been earning a lot. Which so. is awesome. You missed oh, the yeah. last game. He he earned it about eight times in the last game. Oh. That hit paddle, you guys? What do you think? I don't think it did. What did he say? I think he's no, saying that it, it nipped paddle, but I don't think it no. did. No way. Well, we would have heard it. We got replay. Uh, Eventually. I should have had this up and running. You got, you got three monitors. One of them can be replay. We'll look at it. Yeah. They're at. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
just relax. They got a timeout. That's nine, right? So, all right. Eight. And it's still Sam, so it has to be yeah. one. So, nine okay. to one. We just got to relax and, and watch the pickle. You feel me? I feel you. But oh it, it's God. the things we were working out for. The Jim, is this what we sounded like <laughs> when we first started doing this over here? No. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's those little bits. Yeah. Yes. I mean, um, is this live? Is this so, uh, yeah, so this is not. <laughs> yeah, this one's right here. Is no, not no, here's. Yeah, right. This so is John. No, but this is replay, right? That one, John, that one has like live. a 30 second delay. Yeah. No, I want re I want the replay. Yeah. It should here. be. Well, where'd it go? Ah, we might have missed it. Oh, wait. Yeah, they go backwards. Yeah. So, as you guys can hear behind us, we have the bronze medal match behind us right now, um, which is looking to be quite an interesting oh, match very, over no, here. No, he didn't so, touch that. Um, By the way, just looked at the replay, Colton did not touch that ball. No. No, very No, no he, he swung at it, but he did not hit it. Okay. All right, we should be at 7-8. Yeah. I think we're at nine. Could be I nine. thought I heard nine five nine. one. No, five, that can't no, be no five. fives. No. no fives. Could be nine eight. I am. Right now. I am. I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't. I couldn't make out what he just said. Yeah. I'm not sure he said. Right, we should get it. Should get it here. Kobe's gonna be right here. It doesn't. It doesn't help that uh, some of them are more soft spoken. Eight nine one. Eight nine one. Okay. Yeah. Oof, that is a bullet. Getting into the uh, right side dink pattern here. Oh, oh he left, left it, it up. Left yeah. it up. All right. Nine, Seems like a great shot from with Kobe. The, with this, yeah. with this division nine, here, any nine, nine, any two? ball that you leave up is going to get put away. Okay. Yeah. going to get put away. One down. Yeah. 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 Oh, good attack. So, 9-9-2. Hi. I've been saying that all day. Keith, <laughs> Keith is Keith is doing a good job. I'm giving Keith a lot of props oh, for doing the wow. score. So it's I mean, a, it not nice. it's not an it's not an easy thing to do scorekeeping. So you will learn that. Nine, so. nine, one. Nine, 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 one. Okay. Hang on. I'm listening so, for it. Nine nine one. Yep. You know what it oh, is, is? Is Colton's second nine. nine sounds like a five when he's saying it? Yeah. So very confusing. Yeah. Ten nine one here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the one, but we'll take it. Wow. Good yeah. hands. Ten nine one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What a reset. Oh yeah. God, really these good resets are, right oh my god, he just walked up. Oh, oh what a game though. Great opening oh, game it. to the great final. Game. Yep. Great, game. So, great opening right. game. We got we got best of three over here, so yeah. don't go yet. We it still was, got no, plenty of pickleball. Right. Yeah. It was ten nine. We're just gonna get a little break it's quick 11. here. 11, nine. So. It's not to fifteen, Keith. No. Yeah. No, no, he yeah. We got it. Right. Um, we're going to peek our eyes over here okay. quick, and we'll do a little bit of commentating for the bronze medal match. I don't know the score, Wait, but I'm hoping Cynthia will so say it loud enough here. I would reset here, hang on. Turn. Listen up. 4-8-1. I thought I heard a 4, but I could okay. be wrong. I, I got, I got. It's yeah, close. We know that much. Yeah. So that Preston's playing really well. <laughs> yeah, I. He, he yeah. needs to change his shirts, but <laughs> <laughs> other than that, he's like playing fantastic. Uh, they can't see that, but he's, I, he's uh, looks like he went swimming. <laughs> we'll put it like that. <laughs> I, I mentioned he's that when he was. He's on. working hard. He's yeah. working hard. He's what can we say? I mean, yeah, you know. He's played six hours at least. So. Uh -huh. At least, at least. Uh, He's pushing got, seven right now. We got a timeout here on the court. No, that's a, a new game. game. New, oh, game. new game. Colton's uh, practicing his uh, sit ups. Sit up, sleeping neck meditation here. No, no. Oh, that, we got a stretch. That's the hips right there, brother. Yeah. Well, this stretch not the hips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's the hips right there. That's the hips. Right. Yeah, a little back too. I'm not gonna lie, Colton. I might uh, join Colton you on Sam. that in a little Colton bit. Colton and Sam won. <laughs> yep. Okay. John. Speak to him, cover it, if you don't want it to go in there. Yeah. There you go. I'm new to this. 
All good. Um, normally we have a muter, so we can just press the mute button Sweet. when you do that, but the muter's a little down right Man, now. I We're love this setup that you guys have. It's so cool, huh? Yeah. I, tomorrow, so Keith, I think I'm going to bring a few more mic stands tomorrow. That way we can elevate everybody. So, but yeah. Yeah. So you have to lean into it. Yeah, I, I figured right, you were enjoying back this. Back action. So. Sorry. <laughs> As I say that, like... I'm oh, a little deep. A little deep on that return. 101. Start, 101. Yep. yep. Sam okay. thinks something's wrong with his paddle. 102. 102. 102. 102. I mean, I will admit, Sam is hitting a hard ball. It very well may have delaminated. Oh, so. good <laughs> No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't mean that it was. I'm just saying, if it there might, is something, yes. it, it could have. They're hitting, they're hitting hard enough that it could happen. Oh, yeah. So. Very hard. <laughs> I don't. I don't think any of them are. I'm just saying. I'll tell you, Miguel's drives are pretty amazing. I was about to say those. No. And he's using the Lux paddle. He's using a Lux. Yeah. Imagine he's using. Imagine if he's using a gearbox. You know. And that that engage hits hard, but it's not. It's not like a uh, like shot. a power kind of hard. It's more of a pop hard. Mm. So it's more just the ball comes so quick right off of it. Right now we're at zero two. O three one, actually. Yep. You. No worries. You're good. Sam Sam is uh easier to hear than the others. So Oh, I think they might have heard us. Two is zero or three? No. O three two. Oh. Make make that one. One three. One three on the two. Colton's gonna be serving on the right here. So Yep. I think they're just waiting the point behind them out. There we go. I think they got the memo from us because they're saying the score loud and proud right now. Wow. Oh, almost. Tough ball. I don't think he anticipated that one hitting the net. I don't think he did either. Yeah. I think he anticipated his little so walk off. 3 home 1. Ernie. Yep. So if you notice, we have. Um, Kobe and Miguel, as I mentioned before, are electing to be straight up, whereas Colton and Sam are going to be the complete opposite. They're going to switch every point they can. So it's uh -oh. just different styles of play. Just worth it. Should we have 4-1-2, so. right, fellas? Uh, I think we're at 4-1. I don't know if it's a 2 or a 1. I think it's 2. I went over on three. Okay. The, uh, oh. Wow. A little deep. One thing good that try, I noticed Kobe. when I was playing uh, against Kobe was he has a wicked good reflex on his backhand. Yes. It's, yeah. It's, it's nasty. He's on the right-hand side, and he just shifts over yep. maybe a step or two, and he's just ready with his backhand. I think that's the, uh, the side when they, since they're playing straight up, I think that's their best formation is yeah. when he's on the right oh, yeah. because he shifts into that backhand 100%. more, whereas on the left... Yeah, he gets it dinking, but he doesn't get the aerial benefits. 100%. So. Yeah. They just all of them have such great hands. It's uh, yeah. oh, there's a good speed up. Really good speed you know what's up. funny right too the is they make it look so easy, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of practice goes in. A lot of oh yeah. Oh my God, yeah. These guys are out here grinding always. I'm pretty sure. So. Wow. Oh, almost, Sam. Almost, almost. Good shot and a, a nice try at the reset. One thing I appreciate um, about the way Sam plays is he gives us a lot of animation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I appreciate that. Right, Adam. Uh, great shot, yeah. Kobe. Great shot. That was, that was kind of a low ball, but he uh, caught him off guard. Just yeah, I he was think feeling that. hot. He was feeling hot. Yeah. Okay. He was feeling hot. Okay. And so he tried it out, and that's okay. Yeah. That happens. Nothing yeah. With that. Now I'm sure he's probably gonna drop that one exactly. Yep. Yeah. There you go. He got Look at you. You got a hang of it. There you go. I mean, yeah. I played against him a few times. So yeah. I better fucking. Well, Good. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I got a beer in me. Uh, bleep, bleep, bleep. bleep. <laughs> Like 10 minutes, no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, you're good. You can't. You, you yeah. just can't reel them off all in a row. That's it. Is this because of D Dog Channel? No, uh, no, no. it's because of YouTube's oh, okay. policies. Full, 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 full. Uh, <laughs> you, if it I was, so. if it was just channel, you could do it all you want. Oh, but yeah. YouTube policy on live stream, 
Alright. Yeah. Hey, I'm yeah. new to the program. Yeah. It's okay. It's the Johnny. same thing when you uh, play music in here. Because we have to cut, we get copyrighted then. Ooh. Yeah. So. And then I'm going to say I didn't play music because of that, you guys. So I not even, like, we're not that. playing the music? So. Like, you, you can, play music? You can, no, I know, that's why I'm not You can do it over there. You just can't do it near these. Uh, I don't think. So. I think we're yeah. Oh, they, they, yeah, I don't they, really, they, they, no, they called us out. We're okay. You're not uh, at that point yet. No, there. you are, yes. So, so D-Dog has yeah. <laughs> the, the full, the restrictions. The full scams. And yeah. yeah, I get to act, you're getting operate. There, uh, you're growing, you're growing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got a timeout here on the court. Um, Sam and Colton look like they're the talking a little actually, strategy. Here, I think they're just gonna maybe move the ball around a little more on them. There you go. Give a different look or two. Take a breather. Sam, what's the score? We got seven, four, seven, Oh, okay. We got seven, seven. two over here. All right, so it looks like Miguel and Kobe have yeah. taken a nice lead in game two here, which All right, could we're at two, give seven, us a game one, three. Two, seven, one. Two, seven, one. Miguel. Yep. Three, seven. Have seven. I don't know how I can do that. So, uh,. Johnny's being is so kind to help out our scorekeeper here, which we greatly appreciate. It's been, you have to pay so much attention. Uh, nice speed. Yeah. 371, no worries. 371, yep. let me yep. tell you right now. It's, it's not over yet. Yeah. It's not over yet. baseball off of the TV. You're right. It's it doesn't, fun. it doesn't, yeah. it's you don't, uh, like, I'm about to give up. No, don't give up. No, keep at it, keep at it. Right, at least for at this four, match. 471. 471. Four seven one. I, it's so hot. Uh, four. Uh, uh, so blue. Yes. Four. So the blue um, has actually has seven. Yeah. The blue has seven. Right? The blue has seven. Yes. What happened there? Ball interference. Oh. Johnny, you got blue any tournament seven. sponsors has, you want to shout out real quick? And, uh, red has what? Red has. No tournament sponsors for okay. this one. We went straight Kingsbury only. Well, we can shout that out. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. I mean, Kingsbury Club always. Uh, that okay. Home, home courts ATP for sure. Over here. Yep. Nice. Good defensive oh, yeah. ATP. Good partner coverage there, making sure that that middle was not open. And a good put away by Colton. All right, we got 5 7 over here. What a, you know, it's crazy how in pickleball you could be losing 5 2. Oh, or wow. 7 two what a misdirect. And still come back. Oh, you yeah. You guys are doing really well. Johnny, I've been down, I've, I've been up. Like nine two <laughs> nine three and lost, so trust me, I know. It's the worst feeling. Yeah. Ooh. My friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, good, <laughs> good shots. Good, good shots. shots. So it sounds like. Uh, sounds like Preston, Preston and, and Ryan. Ryan. And Ryan came in third. Bronze. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, and they defeated Allen and Cynthia. Cool. I mean, for Cynthia to be even competing in this draw is already, I think, a big win. But of course, wow, what she a shot. definitely wants the gold. So she, yeah, she's 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 one of the better players. Yeah, right but here. you know, I I will say that, just, that was that a very good bronze good medal match. Yeah. We didn't. I peeked over for points, and some of those points were 20 plus balls. So well, you guys saw Preston um, the match before this one. He gets oh, yeah. really animated. He gets really into it. Yeah, he's good. He's a good player. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Sorry. Bye bye guys. You know, Come and on, Ryan, D, you Ryan know. played <laughs> solidly. He was uh Yeah, you know. And Ryan has come a long way. I remember him at Lakeville back in the day and Oh yeah. To oh, where yeah. he is now. To where he is now for sure. Yeah. Definitely. I mean he's he's yeah, transformed his game. Yeah, really, really solid. Him so. and Caesar got they got Silver. second, yeah, yeah. APP Miami, yeah. five oh. Come on. Now. Pretty good. It's really good. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Oh, hey, you know, nasty. you know who got silver. Yeah. You know who I else got, got silver? Yeah. The last Invitational here is our friend over here, Johnny. I did, yeah. That and was the men's. last one. Yes. So we got to shout that out as oh, well. Thank you. If I I call some silver. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yes. It was a good result. It was a good result. Yeah, we did you know. pretty well. It was uh, Chowdy, who's one yeah. of my partners. Chowdy and I, we did really well. And Do you Clarissa have to give the money back me. because you're uh, you're an employee? Like, just, you know. Hell no, I got to pay for this too. <laughs> He's got bills to pay, Jim. I got to pay so for So Clarissa yeah. was telling me that Chowdy actually was one of the first people you played pickle with. Apparently. No, that's no, not true. No, no, no not no. true at all. Not in Attleboro? No, 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 no
if any, Johnny would come oh, you on the court. I thought there was an Attleboro story in there. No, no, no. no Johnny, Johnny would come on the court. He'd have his uh, his AirPods or whatever they're called, the headphone things on. Yeah. And we're like, look at this guy. Like, he, you played he, in the headphones. I love it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't. Really I used to play to tennis to like anybody. that. Yeah. He was very <laughs> antisocial. Yes. Which I understand. I completely. still, I still am. <laughs> but. Uh, at that time, what yeah. it was, wow. you just got to figure out Great Ernie the game, pressure you know there I mean? from Sam. That was really good. Sometimes uh, just the move without actually hitting the Ernie can pressure the dink miss. Sure, yeah. That's, that's a little a, that's deep. That's a home run. A little yeah, deep. That's a little <laughs> home run. I love that. Oh my goodness. And the crowd is starting to gather now. Yeah. Look at this. We've got probably 20 plus people over here watching this. Oh, yeah. This. yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's not exactly early, 7.30 at night on a Saturday. Hey, there's nothing else us pickle junkies. Oh, do. oh, it was it out or in? Yeah, out? it was out. It was oh, out. Wow. Just out. Just out. Can't tell what this. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Came out of my my line of sight. Line I of got it. Here. I got it right Thanks, here. Thanks, Johnny. That is a sharp drive. Low too. That's the yeah, that's, that's the a key. Is yeah. Those balls that are just. I think that looked in. A little wide Rockets there. A little yeah. wide. No, I think it was in. No, no it, was it was out. It was, it was in. Wow. Okay. I think it clipped the line. Oh my goodness. We do not have a good vantage point for that line, then, because that looked like a foot out for me. Oh, a little unfortunate off the net. He was not ready for that net ball. Net cord shift. Of it. I think we could we have be tied a time up. Out. Is it, it is, time? yes. Tied up, yeah. 7-7-1, seven, seven, I think. Wow. I, I cannot <laughs> confirm on 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> I'll ask him right now, though. Here. I'm sure that's what they want to hear right, right now. Right, right. Right now, I would ask like them. Hey, guys, what's the score? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, it's, it's seven. They have nothing better on ask their minds. Ask a family member. Nine-seven. 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 Sam and Sam? Colton okay, okay, right. are up Team or, or behind? Team, are team in the uh, black here. Yeah. It's up. All right, so yeah. nine-seven. I think so. And I'm pretty sure it's the one, right, you guys? Uh, I think the it's one. the one. Yeah. I think it's the one. We'll fully attest for the people watching. We're, we're working on a scoring. Yeah, I've, I've been looking into some yeah. scoring hey, stuff. It's, it's a lot of money, though. Apologies. So, you know, no, we're, no, we're working the on know, it. The people know what yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you know, what's up. You got you to gotta give us credit, too. Ooh. Ooh. You know? Wow. 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 Such good hands. The reflexes are just unbelievable. Oh my goodness. That's a speed up. Yep. I mean. Oh wow. Wow. That's, that's, rough. that's just that's really good pickleball really right there, good. ladies and gentlemen. That's impressive. Ten seven one. Ten seven two, actually. Ten seven two. Ten yep. Seven. So yeah, this is, we weren't sure on the one or two. That's match fine. point then, right? Yes. It should be, yes. Match point. Oh. Oh, right. oh, John, that was your uh, that was your pre eight finish right there, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the mics could Trust have been me. packed up and Trust out of me. here by no, eight. It's only <laughs> seven thirty. We got we got yeah. Well, yeah, hey. you're not you're not factoring in <laughs> cleanup time, Jimmy. No, no, cleanup is <laughs> cleanup is all right. Thank, thanks for the people at the Kingsbury Club. Is it eight the King? no, oh, I meant I meant our cleanup time, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> yes, that that I could care less about that too. <laughs> Respect. Wow, oh. Oh, what a good hands by Sam oh, right yeah. there. Because that was a really nice seven ten counter two. by uh, yep. Miguel. Oh, they are stacking now. Okay. And they're doing that formation we talked about, having uh, Kobe on the right. Oh, oh tough trigger pull. A tough trigger pull. Fast. Yeah, maybe not the best soon, shot yeah. to try to attack. Yep. But that's what happens when you're losing and, and you want to kind of do something. But Yeah, you want to make pressure. You yeah. want to pressure them. But you sometimes know? you got to just kind of relax. I like that. Easier said I than like done. That. No, easier said. I, like I can that. say that now, right? Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, that is there game. It is. Game there set match. What a game. What a final game. I just want to. I just want to thank everyone for for supporting for 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 looking at the uh, live stream. Everyone for coming out. I really appreciate it. You, I gotta get going, but I appreciate everyone for watching. Yeah. Thanks you guys for. for thank you. All right, you very much. thank you, man. So much yes. fun. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up over here. Actually, John, do you want to do medals on court? Yeah, well, you know what? We'll stay on. Keith, we'll stay on for medals. They'll do medals on court. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then we'll wrap it up here. But that's going to be the wrap for us on the mics, guys. Thank you so much. Tune in tomorrow. Mixed doubles all day, 1 p.m. start. All right.
happening. We're out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I'm not working. Okay, I just work. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is staying here. I'm not touching any of that. Okay. I can take the cameras off. I just want to leave that structure. I'm going to take the mic back. Yeah. No, 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 take that stuff. I'm I'm not. Yeah. So, I know you were having trouble with this. Can you help me with those identity stuff? You can do do that. Bring it, boys. I want to see that. That thing is really cool. I'm not going to lie. I know Zoom's good. I'm not going to lie. I got it on the play with it tomorrow. I got it on the Friday. Bring in your tech. Bring in tech. Well, let me get the metal sticks. I got two from the army. Guys, you guys got the winner's names? I need the winner's names. Alright, I got it. I got it. Are we doing here? No, no, they're gonna sit. They're gonna sit. We're, not, we're gonna we're gonna just on camera. Alright. Alright, right, yeah, cool, cool. We're good, we're good. So yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't leave. We have a uh, an interview with the winners coming up. All right, you guys, let me give out the medal. Who wants to do it over here? Preston and Ryan. Kobe and Miguel with the silver and the two hundred dollar prize money. Colton and Sam, first place in a thousand dollars cash money. Pretty impressive. So if we're fortunate, I believe that Colton and Sam will be coming over to join me here in just a second to talk about their victory, the competition, 
Really good, solid day of pickleball. I think that, that door is locked there, my friend. Gotta go around. Just posing for some photos. Oh, looks like somebody's dad wants to take a picture. It's all good. Oh, Miguel forgot to bring his paddle for the photo. Holding up the pictures. There we go. Now he's got one. All right. It's a handsome group. Getting their photos. Very nicely done, gentlemen. Good job all around. Yeah. Applause for everyone. Yeah. Gold medal photograph going on right now. <laughs> so we're cutting that that camera off. So where's my where are my gold medal winners? I need my tech guy to oh, flip the camera okay. around. You want to flip the camera they're around? Going, they're coming. They're coming. Which is the switch? You have the switch for you. are good. They're both on. All right, here we go. Get in here, gents. Colton and Sam getting ready to join us. Have a seat there, my right, friend. Get in there. All right. Uh, slap those things on. You can hear what's happening. So, guys, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic play. I mean, this was uh, this was not easy. No, Definitely there's was some not. tough matches in there. Yeah, yeah. You guys played great um, all day long. Very consistent. You know, even when you got down, you kind of like regrouped and got back together, and um, you know, showed your medal and uh, and won the medal. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. A little play on words. Um, so do you, so, let me. You know, understand a little bit better. You guys play together often because I, I know Sam. You've played with Robbie in the past, and yeah. um, we were with Chris Ouellette, I think the last I was tournament. With Chris yeah. With once, yeah. So how did you guys get together, and and how often do you play together? And you know, and I know Colton, you you have played with um, Alan in the mm -hmm. past, yeah. and uh, I think who did you play with over at uh, South Coast? I played with uh, Proposal Dave. Oh, proposal, Dave. Yeah, yeah. That, and you guys won. Yeah. So, congratulations. There you go. You're, you're on a streak. <laughs> um, so, we had, how'd you guys get together? Um, let's see. I'm fairly new to the area. Um, so, I didn't know a lot of guys here. Met Sam, you know, a couple months ago. Um, never played a tournament with him before. Um, so, it took a little adjusting today, but we totally figured it out uh, yeah. by the end of the day. I'd say so. You know, you, got, you got the gold medal and the $1,000 in yeah. your pocket. Yeah. So. That's fantastic, yeah. So that's that's you know it's it's great because um, this again some of the best play really I think in New England, you know, is uh, happens here and at that Invitational in South Coast, um, and you see a lot of the same guys, um, but then you see like you know you guys always in that the, the top couple groups because I think you guys came in second, right? You yes, and Chris I did, yeah. Last last time. Yeah, and I, I've mentioned before I made a very brief appearance in that in that tournament. Yeah. So, uh, but it, no, it's a, it's always good, and it's it's such high level play, and it's great to be able to get it on camera and to, to let everybody know exactly what's going on here. Because you hear a lot about Arizona and California and Florida pickleball, and you know I'm I sick of it, and I I travel for work, <laughs> and I get to play with a lot of people right you know down you south go. Florida. You know, um, Alabama, Georgia, and yeah, good play. Mm -hmm. But I, I honestly feel like some of the best play is up here. And I don't think we get the, the same level of attention 
as the rest of the country. So it's really nice to see you guys come out and, you know, be able to, to showcase what you're able to do. And it was just really enjoyable from our end mm -hmm. to watch you guys play. Um, you have, Colton, some of the most, like, nastiest Ernie's. Um, it's just, it doesn't seem right. But, uh, yeah, so great play all around. Um, glad you guys found each other and yes. were able to get together and play and compete and do extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the plan? Like, uh, continue this partnership moving forward or just yeah. whatever Yeah, I'd love to get yeah. a couple more. You know, <laughs> you know we're 1-0 yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. Undefeated this year. You know, might there as well keep go. it going. Yeah. Yeah. You're like you know, Ben Johns and Anna Lee Waters. So yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's who? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be Anna. <laughs> okay. I'll let you be Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I'd be either one. Be very happy. <laughs> They're both yeah. good players. Yeah. So anyway, congratulations, guys. I think we got to get out of here because uh, Johnny's going to get mad. But uh, great Tom. job. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. And, appreciate uh, it. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. So uh, keep at it, and um, hopefully I'll see you guys out there. Maybe I'll be playing next time. All oh, yeah. right. We'll see you. I'm already there. scared. Yeah. Next time I'll be I'll be wearing the gold medal, and you guys can interview me. <laughs> All right, take I'm care. Hey, already right. scared. Nice job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, okay. guys. Good Thank you. Good stuff, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Right on, guys. Oh. Thanks, guys. Yeah, good stuff. That was great. Uh, yeah, so now you breathe, huh? Yeah. Was that pressure? I'm sorry. Was that more than that? Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> I don't know. Tell me that. That's all, you know, kind of pressure. What's your pressure? That? How about? No. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right on, guys. Congrats. Uh, all right, what's up, Sam? What's up? All right, what's on there? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I love Sam. Cut it, cut it, cut it, and roll. We're going home. It's dinner time, baby. All right, see you guys. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, see you tomorrow. What time are you coming? Like 12? Right. Yeah, 12. Jim, 12 tomorrow? Some of the stuff still. 12? Wanna yeah. come later? You wanna come later? Because I'm I'm coming to Thomas. Right. Yeah. You wanna you want like Saturday start? Yeah, let's figure it out. I'll figure it out. Alright. I'm playing here for a little bit. Oh no, no, no. Are you gonna be like a little bit? I'm not saying I'm not the fucking best ball player. I'm just saying uh I ended up. You're gonna be really good. I I was not expecting playing six hours today. Play it already six well today. Well, you gotta factor in the warm up too. So I got here. I get your whatever. I set up with you at like yeah, eleven yeah. fifty. They stretched it out nice. They stretched it out nice. <laughs> <laughs> like the the last six, last six we were like six no, hours. Not doing time. And meanwhile, I got a full time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you you had you had a little lip service. No, it wasn't all that quick. Uh, it's not as long as it's not as long as the only nice thing is that we got to sleep in. That's what's it. I, I will like admit. It. I do like the start. I will admit the start time. Rush. Well, he's my favorite. Johnny, I'm gonna leave I can hold this, that. these I can these to leave these here. I mean, no, 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 I'm not. Just oh, right. keep them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, I'll take it. I'll yeah, take it. Yeah, it's all right. It's really, it's really not a big deal. Maybe like, could you just not cable them? Well, I could take the cables off and leave the cap. Maybe that could work. But it's just. Oh, I no, would yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. take them out. Just take them out. Whatever. Yeah. 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 That's really not a big deal.
talk about me. The analog chair is still going. We are actually 